Let me uh, make sure that my thing. Oops. Oh no! I didn't realize that um my mic was on. <laughs> but yeah, look, we have a new chat bubble, a new chat um thingy over here. <laughs> everybody hi Lilith hi Y hi Josh hi Eris <laughs> you guys got a sneak peek to the backgrounds oh yeah we finished 2.1 Korea can watch the character trailers now two drop for adventuring oh I saw and I wanted to react to it um but I I wonder if so since we're on that topic I was wondering if we should um Instead of reacting to it live, if maybe I should make a separate video, that way I won't have to deal with the um, the sound sound settings, and then um, maybe by tomorrow I'll have the video up of me reacting to um, the trailers, the new trailers. Our favorite gambler is out now. Yes, I'm so excited. We're going to pull for adventuring today, um, and I believe that it will be an early pull. I believe. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, fancy, right? The trap bubbles are so nice. I wanted to try and do something that will make them a little more visible. Yay, and the bubbles, the bubbles. I didn't even think anything was off. <laughs> Aw. True, sure, sure, try it out. Yeah, I think um, what I will do is I'm going to um, 
uh, react to Ventrine's trailer separately and I'll post it up on YouTube. Um, that way I can make sure that the sound comes out right away and then I can just like react to it without worrying about messing with the sounds. Because every time I, I do, I wash them, I have to mess with the sound systems again. So I thought that was a good idea. That way we can just like watch it together. <laughs> And without me like being distracted in the first half by <laughs> by the sound settings. But yeah, no, I hope you guys had a all had a good weekend or a good weekday. We're almost to the weekend. And I I was watching people pull for adventure and oh my goodness, people have been getting lucky. Um there was one streamer I watched who pulled like Eventually, um, under 50 pulls, I think it's called 50 50, right? And then immediately right after, they pulled another one. <laughs> I was like, so lucky. Oh, by the way, I I found um, Eventrain's VA uh, stream account or um, stream channel, and I was watching them pull for Eventrain, and oh my goodness, they E6 him. And also, I think his name is Camden. He E6 Aventry and he also um, pulled E5 for the cards. And then after that, he was ready. He farmed and he was ready and he maxed out everything. <laughs> so now Aventry is like a tanky uh, DPS. Our favorite lucky gambler, not like uh, not like Sparkle. Oh yes, a true gambler. Oh, by the way, over the weekend, I couldn't stop thinking about 2.1. I'm not sure if everyone else is in the same boat, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, I, I, um, when I was watching people go through the story of 2.1, there was something that stood out to me. Clocky, when Clocky first meets us, he's like, only innocent people can see him. And Firefly was right next to us. That was a big hint. And Firefly could not see him. Oh really, Josh? That's so cool. I, you know, toots to him. Like, not a toot, how do I say it? Uh, props to him because he, that is amazing. Like, to have your first VA job be something like this, he's on a very bright future, a very bright path. That's so exciting, especially in a big game. And like, I, I felt that too. I was watching some of his reaction videos to him in the game, and it's just such an amazing feeling. And like, like he's so excited, and you can feel it too, like he's so excited to be in this game. <laughs> and to have his name there uh, next to the character, that's such an honor. Same here, that story was crazy. Evil Firefly, oh my goodness. I refuse to believe she's evil. She's our innocent Firefly. But when she is Sam, it's like an alter ego switch. She just changes. And I still like, I watch um, the scenes with Sam and I'm like, I would have never in a million years guessed that this was Firefly. It's like a, a, an alter ego. Like the way the voice actor portrays Sam too is very rough around the edges and very um, kind of like a, I win, you lose kind of voice. <laughs> That's not Firefly. Um, um, let's see here. And I was thinking too, Aventurian right now, he's in like, okay, so, you know, if anyone has been to Disneyland, Pinacone reminds me so much of Disneyland, right? Or Disney World. And when I was in high school, I, uh, I played in the orchestra and we went to the back, to the back rooms of Disneyland. <laughs> the backstage at Disneyland and somehow being there just sucks out all the magic of um, Disneyland because you see like all the illusions that they do to portray onto the park um, all the backdrops and stuff like that it just it looks so it's so like jarring um, when you're in the back in the back areas and right now that's where adventuring is in he penetrated to the backstage of Pinnacony. So now he's like back there. And I wonder, I wonder if he did all this because he really wanted to see his family. Like there's a part of him that, that wasn't afraid of dying. He was nervous because that way he, you know, he would join his family, right? 
And then on the other hand, if he was alive, he proves his theory right, right? Um, and he, I wonder if he, he would still, he, he wondered if he would still see his family even if he didn't die. I hope Firefly becomes a trailblazer with us eventually. Yes, she better. <laughs> yes, please. She Penicone Peak Wonderland. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I will be reacting to the Trains trailers tonight and I'll try and edit it and, or not edit it. I'll try and post them up tonight on the YouTubes because there's not a lot to edit. Have y'all seen Akami Ga Kill? No, I haven't. I've heard about that though. Um, that's one enemy that I'll have to put on my roster of to watch. Alright, let's see here. Okay, let me go ahead and um, pull up the game. And what we will do, we'll do some pulls. I want a full of intrigue. And then um, later I'll have to really work on... Um, I have to really work on on leveling him up later. But yeah, I love these chat bubbles. I was gonna say something horrendous, but can't cause spoilers. Really? Is there something already um further about Honkai? Also speaking of first voice acting roles, it was Branyo's VA's first acting role too. It's so cool. I, I really want to um I really want to watch all of their streams, um, all the voice actors of them reacting. And it's so nice, it's like they're all really supportive of each other. I saw that when Camden was pulling, um, he was in like a voice call with all the other voice actors and they were cheering him on. And that was so sweet. You can just slap the chill gear onto the train since both need defense. Oh nice! That's good advice. No, it's spoilers for the anime. Oh, I see, I see. Well, hmm. If you if you want to, Eris, I and if no one else minds, I I think I'll forget about it by the time I if I ever watch it. Honkai gives peak voice actors that love the game and not just do this. Yeah, that's what I feel like too. And I don't mean this as like shade to other voice actors um, who've done work. But I really feel the love that the voice actors for Honkai have for the game. It just shines through. And it's so natural too. It's like, uh, especially for Aventurine, he's just so excited to play his character. He's so excited to be in the game. I smiled when I watched the video of him um, reacting to getting to play his character in the game for the first time. And just like listening to all his voice lines. Let me go ahead and exit out of this. I use that for my sound testing. Um, Acheron's VA pressuring everyone to go broke for her. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, yeah. If you ever feel like um saying it, Eris, um don't feel don't hesitate. Um, feel free to say it because I, I feel like I will forget about the spoiler. Um once I start watching it. Alright, let's see here. I feel like to pull Aventry, we gotta go to... We gotta go to... Penicani. Luka and ZOZA troll each other so much, that's so sweet. Actually, yeah, I heard them like trolling or going at each other during Camden's uh, stream for the pools. I thought it was so cute. This is a nuclear spiller you wouldn't forget. Oh, okay, no worries, Aries. Maybe uh, one day I'll watch the enemy. I need some water today. It's always the first stream when I come back, I need a lot of water. Alright, there you go. Alright, 
Wait, are you guys ready? I'm ready. Wait, uh... Always hydrate 24-7. Yeah, I've been trying to. I think it's just, um... A couple of other things, but oh, look at him! Time to gamble for gambler's luck. Good luck, Takuya, thank you! I really love this bubble. This, uh, chat bubble. Alright, let's see here. Okay, good luck, good, good luck, good. Um, what's it, what's it, they, when, um, when Camden was pulling for adventure, he was saying, <laughs> All or nothing. Or doctor is huge, which is like... <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's pull him now. 3, 2, 1. So pleasant players, yay. Oh, darn it. We're fine. We are wild for adventure. Their actions to him are hilarious. Hi, Gucci. <laughs> We're doing pulls for adventure. Give it to me, yes, exactly, I agree. Give me... I should let me pass for <gasps> Oh, I got, um... I got Natasha and Luca, wow! Okay, this is a good first pull. Alright, um... Let me see here. Let's go again. <laughs> if I can get Jing Li... <gasps> no! But if I can get Jing Li in 30 pulls, you can get your boy in 30. <gasps> Congratulations, Gucci! That's so nice! Yes, hopefully. This next time. <clears throat> I think I'm at... Uh, before I started, I was at 20 pulls already. Oh, nice! Okay. Okay. <sighs> please. Please, please, please. Oh! Wait, no, oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, please! I saw people like, some five stars aren't the banner, so I'm hoping. That makes me scared. <sighs> please. so early now oh wow okay I still have 7,000 crystals oh what should I do I I can never dream of e16 characters at least not now um oh my gosh should I try and get his light code or should I say this or should I get Jing Yuan oh my gosh there's so many options My well luck. Thank you. Hype. <laughs> Jing Liu or Lycone? Lycone. Let's, let's do Lycone real quick. See if it works. And then Jing Liu. My friend has E2 season 1 and it's busted. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see here. Jing Liu is free to play friendly. Oh, okay. That's good. Um, okay, so we'll go for the Lycone first, and then I will pull for Jing Li. Is it to the bed? Okay. Um, okay, let's try. Let's let's do Jing Li. Let's do one Jing Li. Okay. Uh, luck, 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 luck. Ah, uh, darn it. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Alright. Um, ain't no way. I don't even have her like yet. I'm hitting almost 200k with her skill. <gasps> That's so amazing. She's still being built. Okay. Let's see. Whew. 
Alright, it. Okay. Uh, I wanna alternate. Um, let's go for the light code. Just in case. Darn it! Okay. One more. Oh gosh. Mmm. Light code. Tingly. Light code. Light code. Oh, fuck. you. Damn it. Oh, wait, wait. You know what I can do? Maybe I can do that. I forget that um, I have some, some of this stuff. Yeah, this stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's go for one more. Mm. Let's go for Jingli again. Oh wait, I can't. Oh darn it. So I have to do one by one maybe. Wait, Kriya go back? Okay. Go to the shop. Go do the event right now. Oh, this. Wait, which event? Let's see. Oh, maybe this. The starlight. Oh, yeah, you're right. <gasps> Seven. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Jing Li. Jing Li. No! Damn it. It's okay, we got what we wanted. We wanted a venturing today. We got him. And again. And we got Luca. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's level him up real quick. I wonder if I have the stuff for him. Yes, I do. That's all? <laughs> let's settle then. I'm going all in. Now gotta do the events for Jade's on the top right left most button. Oh, I see. But yeah, thank you guys for being here for moral support. Not moral support, you guys gave me a lot of luck. Like, holy. That's all? <laughs> Let's settle then. I'm going all in. Oh, darn. Okay, gotta make this. Oh, no. I gotta go. I gotta go farm. So I'll do that later. For now, yay. We got, we got a venturing. <laughs> Finally, I'm a big tank. Our big tank. Actually, let's go. Hmm. I like him too. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Uh. We will become the relentless gambler. Yes, I agree. Um, let's see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all this off. Um. And then equip a Venturine. I need to level, I need to go through and level this someday. And like farm for the right stuff. Yeah, don't look at my, my gear. <laughs> it's so bad. It's okay. 
it's okay. One day I will go through. I did a lot of um, a similar universe recently, so I'll have to go ahead and go through and pick something to uh, to boost. Maybe this one, right? Would be good for him. If a train is that light cone, if you, is in that light cone, if you look really closely, really. Let's see, light cone. <gasps> right, because it has topaz in it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, there he is. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, I love that they, they sneakily put him in there before we even met him, right? Because this light cone has been around for a while. Alright, let's see here. Gosh, I need to do a lot. I need to do a lot. Fortifies all allies with a fortified wager. Uh, let's see here. That's how he was teased, I believe. That's so cool. Alright, let's do this. Gosh, I, I I really want to to E6 of Entrine, but I'll have to be satisfied with what we have. Alright, let's change my team up. And then what I will do is I'll go ahead and, and go and um if you guys uh don't mind to see it, I'll go farm for Aventurine stuff real quick and try and level him up to 70. Teetering on the precipice of danger is quite enchanting. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, you don't mind? Okay. Oh, thank you for um, subscri subscribing to the YouTube channels. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the, the live stream. All right, let's see here. Um, let me go now to... Oh, wait, okay, I gotta go. I gotta look into where I gotta fly to ascend him. So let's go to nothing at all with end of the good farm. Yeah, thank you. I can't wait. I really want to get into 70. He's our new tank. More imaginary YouTube views. Oh yes, exactly. <laughs> More people. Oh, Eris, I see the video you put into the Discord. What crimes did Firefly commit? <laughs> oh gosh, I want... Uh, one day, I will have all the jades to, to get all the characters. And maybe even E6. One day, let's see here. Yeah, that was so nice. I'm really glad we got him. I was expecting, you know, what happened when we were pulling for um, Imbibitor Lune, um, Dan Hung. I think we went to like 90 pulls before we got him. Look at the contrast between Topaz's and Venturing's lines about each other when you can. Oh, uh, yeah, let's, let's listen to that real quick, actually. Voice lines. About Topaz? She's always searching for the optimal solution in maintaining equilibrium between the corporation and its customers. Not an easy feat if you ask me. But she's climbed the corporate ladder incredibly fast. So she must oh. be doing something, right? So very like admi admirable. Um admiring her. I don't have Topaz. Oh darn it, I forgot. I don't have Topaz. Does Luca have voice lines for adventure? <laughs> I imagine not because they haven't met each other, but they, uh, Luca was, Luca's VA was really teasing, um, Aventurine's VA when he was doing pulls, so I thought that was pretty funny. Alright, let's do some farming real quick. I'll do a supplier. I will do, ooh, Eris, 
Let's use a character real quick. Yes, that's good. <clears throat> um, look at the contrast between Topaz. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. The game is on. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> it's on me. <laughs> oh my gosh! It has such a baby shield. Okay. And then as soon as we're done leveling up the bench room, we'll go and finish Blabla's class. Blabla. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> and that was such a good nice early pull too. And now we go back to farming for more jades for either more pools for um, the cone or for Jingli. Or, or, for next banners. Does anyone know what the next banner will be already? I wonder. Oh, who support Jingli's that? Oh, that was Eris's. I'm going to be using yours right after. That's all. Um, right <laughs> after this, Gucci. Let's settle. I really want to see two difference. In. It's Robin and Boo Hill next. Oh, nice. <gasps> That's gonna be hard because they're both characters that no one's seen yet, right? So people have to choose. Okay, I need more. Let's do more. And this time I'm going to be using Gucci's Jingli. Yay! Oh, look at this. E6 already. Oh my goodness. Gucci, nice. Wait, that was Gucci's, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Soon to be departed. Aww. Oh, I see, I see. Robin's for promotional art. Will you find the answer? It's on me. Aww. <laughs> yeah, thank you for explaining that most. I, 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 I uh, didn't catch that. But yeah, um, I remember that. Yes, take it all. Yes, take it all. Oh my money. Oh gosh, I really need to level him up. So that he can give us more buffs, more shields. Did you ever try out Arcan? Yes, I did. Gucci, your Arcan is so amazing. Like I can't. Um, I always like choose her uh, at least once or twice, or um, maybe a few times when it's early. <laughs> She's broken. I really regret not pulling for Acreon, by the way. Uh, I just didn't want to to risk not pulling for a venturine. But if I had known I would pull him this early, I would have definitely gone for her again. <sighs> I really, next time she comes around, I'm gonna pull for her. Um, because I, I do want her, I do want her like broken, um, Agrian. All her or nothing. broken farming slashes. Three. Ooh, yeah. Straight. Oh, wait, where'd she go? Oh no, I went too far away. <laughs> Challenge. Oh wait, no. Support. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't know you could go out of bounds. Three, four. He's four, yes. <laughs> I got 69 pity on Akron's life when I ran out of chains. Oh, really? I weep for the department. Yeah, I feel you. But at least for um, the next time when we do the next battle, you'll have like the, the pities so that you'll be guaranteed the next one if you want it. <sighs> Hunkai, you're a danger to our wallets. You're dangerous. 
That's all? <laughs> Let's settle then. I'm going all in. Oh uh, gosh, 20. Okay, 20. So I need I need four I need to fight this thing four more times. Alright, let's do Let's do let's see. Is there anybody else's that I know in here? It's so crazy. I have um a lot of friends in Hong Kai now, right? Um I'm not sure how they find me, but oh hey Lola! Let's go for yours. And then anyone else's? Let's go with Zila. She crossed the stars. Wow. Oh, she's so pretty. And then, admittedly, I'll go back to Akeryan because she's so OP. <laughs> and she makes the farmings really fast. <laughs> Two Gucci's Akeryan. Yeah, I know, Zila. I really, really want to pull for Zila. Did I ever or show you oh, my art hand does my team? <laughs> breaks the game, yeah. You can get standard uh, banner tickets from leveling up characters. Oh, really? And then after Robin and Bootho, it's probably going to be Sam and Firefly. No one's going to call him Sam anymore. <laughs> they better not do... Um, a thing where Firefly is like her own character and Sam is their own character as well. They should be like two in one. Let's get Robin and Eco for Firefly. You know, I might, if I don't have enough Jades, that's probably a good idea because we need Firefly. Firefly and someone else not confirmed for you yet. <laughs> to the wallet. Yeah, this this game. They they were very very smart about putting two people in one banner, but uh, for all. Yeah, that'd be so so cruel to put two characters in the next banner that no one has yet. Illusions of the past. Both Robin and and Boot Hill. <laughs> all right. Uh, now let's change teams. Alright, thank you. Now I'm going to make this as fast as possible by going oh, with the E6 Archeon of Gucci's. <laughs> this bird is bust. <laughs> or maybe I'll take it off. No water to uplift. I yes, she is very strong. Thank you, Lola. No, I love, I love Ziva. I just need to make this go very fast. <laughs> broke the character. <laughs> she broke the game. It's on me. <laughs> I weep for the departed. <laughs> Me trying my hardest not to E6 Robin. Yeah, I know. It's going to be hard. I think for everybody not to E6 Robin. Um, but definitely Firefly. I think... I think Hunter is going to make the most money when Firefly comes out. Because everyone's going to be E6 and uh, Firefly. I weep for the departed. Okay, on easy mode to spare my life. <laughs> Do not, don't get a sparkles on my sleeps and up her, crack my ratio, by my ratio, ooh. I think, was that four? Let me check real quick. Amelia fans, so finally getting Jingli is nice. Oh, right, because she does voice Jingli. That's really cool. Oh, wait, let me check here. Nice! That was just four. Alright, let me synthesize one of this real quick. That's all? Nice! 
Let's settle then. I'm going all in. And we're all leveled up. Alright, um... Can I enhance this? Not yet, okay. Uh, Elian. Huh. I will probably... Hmm. Darn it. I don't really have any. Let's switch. Yeah, all my relics are really, uh, really disgusting, so please don't look. I'll have to fix this later. Huh. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with this one for now. Um, let me see here. My biggest regret is not pulling on her banner. Uh, for Jingli? Oh, yeah. I mean, it would have been nice if we got her right away, too, and I regret not being able to pull more, but maybe later. Probably won't accept her since my wallet is recovering from Archeon's beating. Yeah, for sure. Um, too bad you don't have Branya so that you can hear her and Zila's lines for each other when you add them to the team together. Oh, right. You're on NA, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, let's see here. Let me fix this real quick. Defense. This one. And then... Defense. This one. And then... Let me see here. Oh, this one's a good defense. Yeah, I'll keep this one. At least for now. And then... Ooh, this is the, the defense. This is a really good one, actually. I might just stick with that one. Mm, enhance. I'll go with that for now, because I need to research if that's the best one for him or not. But that's really good. Oh, you know what? You know what? I um, forgot. I do have silver tickets. Should we pull for some silver? Let's see. Let's see who's up. Her Lycone is so pretty. I have 33! Should we do some pulls? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to farm so much to level characters. <laughs> You're going to do 50 50 on adventuring? I'm going to do full um, 50 50 build on adventuring. I'm going to do a full death build. I have good enough DPS. Yeah, I think. Um, I'm not sure yet, uh, Gucci. I think I might do the same. I might go for full defense. Can't ever go wrong with more gambling. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, three, two, one. Good luck, luck. Good luck. Ah, oh, darn it. Do do the slow ones ever to go holographic though? <laughs> Doing the dark side. <laughs> I am on the dark side. Okay, let's do some slow pulls, I guess. Oh, Zuyi. Ah, oh, let's do. It. Nice, okay. Let's do another one. Ripples in the dark sea. It takes a lot. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't see this one. Was it uh, purple? Darn it. Uh, let's go for it. Oh, then hung. I saw a lot of people for Acreon's banner, or Ar yeah, Acreon's banner was molding over, um, <laughs> pulling so many genomes. Oh! Five star! Ooh! I wonder who's gonna be. <laughs> Let's go! Let's see. Okay. 
my heart for a second there. Circle. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Bailu! Oh, Bailu! <laughs> I heard Bailu's a good healer, so. Oh, wow. Oh, Bailu! So cute! Bailu is good though, yeah. But I, I agree, Gugichi. I was like, oh, Himika! Himika would have made me scream. But Bailu, oh my goodness. Nice! Cutie patootie. Yes, exactly. Bailu is so cute. I love Bailu. I'm really happy we got her. Oh gosh, so many people to level now. I have... Well, let's see here. I have Eldeons. Let's go ahead and put our Eldeons up real quick. Everyone needs some time alone. Everyone needs some time alone. Everyone needs some time alone. Mine's E4, sadly. Oh. Everyone needs some time alone. With this drink, one day I can save more all of our characters will be E6 through through lag. <laughs> yes, nice. I my only true companion. Servo is so pretty. Rock and might be my only true companion. Oh my gosh, look at this picture. Oh, she is so pretty. Hi, Lou. Look at her. She is so cute. Alright, I'll have to level them later. For now, I'm happy that we got him up. So let's go ahead and continue with um, Wilba's story. Uh, let's see. Ghost Hunting Squad. Back at it. And then later... Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to do. I need to clear out all of this. And later we have Natasha's story to continue, as well as finishing Kafka's and um and Argentine's story. And then hopefully we'll be in time for 2.2. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's in two weeks or one week now, right? One week and a half. Oh wait, what's this? We have a lot of stars. Wait, what were we doing before? Oh wait, no, that, that's a strange one. Okay, that's not the one. It is... Where is it? Ghost Hunting Squad. Teleport. Sorry if you hear me coughing, by the way. My voice is gone today. I think like every time we take a weekend, the first day I come back, my voice is gone. <laughs> it's either from nerves or I don't know. Here we go. Just need a lot of water. And a lot of lemon. Surfle is pretty. A lot of people drop straws drop when they first met her. She is so gorgeous. 2.2 is scheduled to come out on May 8th. Oh, really? That's, let's see, let me look at the calendar real quick. Darn it, that is still actually almost three weeks away. Darn it. Uh, okay, that's okay. It's soon. And if we finish Honkai's story early, what we might do is we might start Final Fantasy 16. Just uh, get some story done and... Um, jump right back into Honkai once it comes out again. Weird stuff keeps haunting in haunted house. Happening- <laughs> keeps haunting. Weird stuff keeps happening in the haunted house. There's a place near the Alchemy Commission. I went- uh, I went away for a while because there were disciples of St. Medicus, but when I got back, strange things began happening. Humanoid shapes would float outside my window. I hear laughter in an otherwise empty house. Ooh, that's scary. Sometimes I even feel like I can't breathe. When the real estate agents sold me the place, they mentioned that the previous owners were all outworlders here to seek immortality, but died without success. 
Hmm. But they seeked, they got immortality in a different way. Over time, their resentments got left there. I used to count my lucky stars about being a long life species and not needing to search for immortality, but now I've gotten haunted. Oh, that's scary. A haunted house, a ghost. I can already smell our followers increasing. This must be the work of a Heliobus. Yes, I imagine so. We're not ruling out the chance that it's a fraud. There's no doubt about it, it's a Heliobus. It's so hard to tell what's true and what's not um, on the network. We should go and visit before reaching a conclusion. So, will you go, Baba? I found some clues that may be linked to tell on another post. I want to go and confirm it for myself. Oh, nice. Yeah, we need to reunite her with her tail. You can go and do what you need, Wawa. Little Gwei, Korea, and I will go to the haunted house. Don't worry, we're on it. Make sure you tell us if you come across any trouble. After all, it's not the ghost hunting squad without any of us, right? Thank you. By the way, R4 told me to tell you congratulations on getting adventuring. Oh, thank you, Josh. <laughs> He's out right now, but wanted to tell you. That's so sweet. Yeah, thank you. Let him know that I say thank you for the congratulations. <laughs> or not. I don't want to make you a messenger. But thank you. I messaged the person who made the post. He has sent me an address. All right, Ghost Hunting Squad. Let's move out. Move out. Hi, Pharaohs, to the YouTube chats. Welcome. Ghost Hunting Squad. Alright, can we accept the other one or we can't? We gotta do the first one first. Yeah, we gotta do the first one first. Okay. Um, let's go then. You know, I really like Halloween and it's almost... Not almost time, but this reminds me a lot of like the Halloween feeling. You're fine, I don't mind. <laughs> Yeah. Bubbles. Bubble chat. This is the meeting place. That must be the person who made the post. You're finally here. It's me. I am the landlord of the haunted house. Just call me Renault. Ooh, let's go. It's time to investigate your haunted house. Wait a minute. Where is your Ten Lords member? We may not be members of the Ten Lords, but we're all pretty capable. Is there anything that you cannot tell us? It's not that I'm looking down on you. It's just that there are so many strange stories on the ghostly grove, and so many of them are just baseless made-up stories. But this time, I've met the real thing. Without the assistance of the Ten Lords Commission, I fear that you alone may not be of any use. We've dealt with the real thing before. Um, if you ask me, the Ten Lords Commission aren't all they crowded up to be. For all we know, you're the one making us stories. We've dealt with the real thing before. Which server are you playing? I am on the NA server, I believe. Yeah, I think that's right. We're on the NA server. Fine, there are some things I do not mention, did not mention in my original post. You'll understand once I explain. At first, there was just a property that I bought at a low price, thinking I'd gotten myself a steal. But after they sold me the property, I never heard from the previous owner again. It was later that I learned that every prior landlord had met an unfortunate end. I never used to believe in haunted houses or things like that. But ever since I moved in, I've developed a cough and it was difficult for me to even breathe sometimes. It's starting to make me nervous. After some time, I found a geomatic master. He checked his compass and said that, though there are windows and pavilions, there is no flow of yang energy. The courtyard walls do not foster a growth of wealth. There is sickness to the east, and the population of the west lacks harmony and community. The four directions are not favorable, and the five elements clash. Oh, feng shui. You know, I always wonder about the feng shui of homes. Like, I, I wonder if, they, if I could do that to our house. <clears throat> and like increase feng shui 
What's more, this house has a long history, and all residents have met with ruin. Spirit fairs are frequently called, yet the spirits of the aggravated dead linger. My advice, move out within three days or you will fall gravely ill and tragedy will befall you. Ooh. Are you sure this master wasn't a con man? We decide our fates, not the heavens. She should continue living here. What do you mean, continue living here? If I hadn't moved out when I did, I'd fallen into Marstruck more long ago. Even though I don't want this blessed house anymore, it is still a personal asset. I'd like to sell it no matter the price. If you're going to investigate the haunted house, there's something I'd like to ask you. Um... Little Gwei, I think we should just head back. I knew it. Well, what is it? Who could even sell this rookie house? Um... I knew it. What is it? While you're investigating the haunted house, could you help me find the deed? I won't be able to sell it without... If you do that, then I will allow you to visit the haunted house. What do you think? Easy enough. Leave it to us. Gotta go. Good night. Looking forward to your streams. Oh, thank you, Faroz. Thank you for stopping by and saying hello. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Easy enough. Leave it to us. I really don't know where this baffling self-confidence of yours comes from. Ooh, haunted house. Hard healer. I was worried I would lose the deed, so I put it in a safe. I know you can find it. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's see. A haunted house. I hope the proper talisman Wawa gave us works. Well, shall we head on over? Let's. I'm ready. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Time for some butt kicking. We'll be fine, now that we have a bench key. This isn't the place exactly- isn't this place exactly the same as the Hillow Bush Labyrinth that we encountered before? So creepy. Uh, there is limited resource on the Zianjia Lafu. I just had to piece things together with the blueprint of a similar house. That must be the haunted house up ahead. Yeah, this is really creepy. Like. If the entrance to your home was like this? I don't know. I would put a lot of planters or flowers. That's what I would do to change this up. So you're saying we're staying here tonight? Good night. <laughs> I thought we would be able to look around inside. This isn't as scary as I imagined. So we're staying here tonight? Wait, I'm not stupid enough to spend the night in a haunted house. Either way, we need to find the deed and investigate the truth behind this hill you bus while we're at it. Two birds, one stone. Then we'll put up a haunted house investigation post and rake in the followers. Don't you make it sound all so easy. I'm a little concerned. Come to think of it, don't you think that advertisement overboard over there is a little out of place? Is this something that should be a civilian home? Nope. Come on, let's go take a look. Funny enough, I am exactly actually in another Discord with Ferozzi. Oh, really? Nice! <laughs> That's so cool! An advertisement board that looks a little out of place. No one would have something like this in their house. Investigate closely. Yeah, it's so funny, Josh. Does he move closer to inspect the advertisement board suddenly? <gasps> it's Kafka! Given that some time has passed since the Ambrose or Arbor incident, the Lawfu should have already removed the wanted notice of the Stellaron hunters. However, gas wrote roots level work can be slow and you may still see Kafka's wanted poster on the streets. However, a wanted poster for Kafka appearing here in the courtyard of an apparent haunted house should raise some caution among you and your companions due to its unexpected nature. It shouldn't be here. You should probably get closer and take a look. Wait one second, I need some water. There you go. Alright, let's see here. Take another look. Touch it. Get closer. <gasps> oh, 
that's creepy. Who would have expected this? Your first thought right now is, this must be a clue. Cool, are there any more? <laughs> Here, what about the one that posted for Blade? I want to tear it down. She is beautiful. She is beautiful. This must be a clue about the haunted house. That's right. A strangely colored stone falls down before your eyes, as if someone has noticed you looking at the wanted poster. There is no one around. Just where did this come from? As you pick it up, you realize that this is probably an important clue. At that moment, you hear a ghostly voice coming from behind you, like an echo that directly imprints into your brain. Save me. It's so dark. I, I don't want to be trapped here. Please find me. This magnetic stone is the first clue. Bring it. Come and find me. Come and save me. The weakened voice comes to an abrupt halt. Did you hear that? It was a vengeful spirit. I thought only I could hear it. I heard it. It suddenly... I don't really want to rescue them. No, I want to rescue them. What do you mean by vengeful spirit? That was obviously a Heliobus, right? Ah, y yes, yes. It looks like all the clues are hidden in this residence. All we need to do is find the Heliobus, and all the th these problems will be solved. This magnetic stone must have some use. Take it for now. There's no time to waste. Let's take a look around for any clues around here. Ooh. Investigate. A heavy stone? It looks like it was engraved with some kind of script, but it is hard to make out. Maybe if you could use rubbing paper, you might be able to copy the inscription and read it. Try using an item. Ooh, this one. A heavy stone. It looks like it's engraved with some kind of script. Uh, something doesn't seem right. Have another think about what to do. We need to find more stuff. Is this the Acreon uh, trailer? Find me? Hi, Darren. Welcome to the YouTube chats. I'm not sure, actually. Um, we, we've already watched the Ar Acreon trailers. Uh, now we just need to watch Aventurine's trailer. Ooh, it's a Broken Cloud Knight's Devastator Glaive. It is extremely sharp, so you decided to take it with you in case it comes in handy. Yeah, right now we're doing Lova's uh, companion class. Or if we're finishing it up while we wait for 2.2. .2. Ooh, we're here. And we finally got venturing. <laughs> oh, plan. There's nothing here out of the ordinary. A broken box that is hard to move due to its weight. The lock is corroded, and there is a hole the size of a fist on the top side. It looks like there is something metallic inside. Perhaps there is a way to get the item out from the box. If you use a strongly magnetic stone, you may be able to remove the item from the box. Ooh, this one. With the magnetic stone placed near the base of the box, you heard the metallic item cling to the side of it. You guide the item to the missing hole in the top and extract it. The key! I looked it up, and rubbing paper is actually real, but I think it's called something else. Oh, that's really cool. Rubbing paper. You know, I really love stationery. If there's like some way to... I want to find out more about that actually. Alright, let's do... Let's do... This, I think. No? Let's try the other item. The key. No. Oh, one more item here. A door that is still shut, it requires a key to open. Before that, let's talk with them real quick. A fragment of the Cloud Knight's Devastator Glaive? That could be used as a paper cutter. That's actually really... That's really gonna hurt your hands. Oh, okay. A door that is still shut, it requires a key to open. This key. You easily open the courtyard door and the key broke off in the lock. Let's just leave that there. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, if I had a house like this, I don't know if I would feel relaxed or if I would feel very creeped out. A fragment of the Cloud Knights? Oh, okay. Is it the same thing? Uh, let's investigate this first. A bell. An old bell. It looks like an item used to call a small animal. Let's take it. It may come in handy later. Looks like a collar for like a kitten, maybe. A broken courier package. The ceiling tape seems very strong. Wonder if there's a way to open it. Ooh, yes, the the glaive. The broken cloud knight's devastator glaive easily tears through the packing tape, and you obtain a key from a very the various items inside. Nice. Okay, key number two. Discarded food box. The food inside seems to have been prepared recently. <gasps> recently. Remove the food from inside. You remove all the food items from within and make it into something that looks like a rice ball. Uh, is there a hungry someone in this courtyard in need of this? Ooh, actually, that does look really nice. Actually, never mind. <laughs> from far away, it looked really appetizing, and then you get closer, and it like it has. It looks like blood. Maybe soy sauce. Let's open this door. You easily opened the courtyard door and the key broke off. Uh. Oh. Investigate. A teapot, no leaves, no water, no tea. Oh, excuse me. Investigate. In a squid safe that looks like it to be holding precious items, there is a note attached. It seems to be reminding the owner of the password. Let's try and putting the password. The note says the safe password is T. There is no T on the lock, so T must represent a series of digits. You will need to find clues to prove this. Now, to injure the password. You have no idea what it could be. Perhaps there are clues around. Seems like a broken musical instrument that can no longer make any sound. Leave it aside. Uh, let's talk. There is definitely something not right about that courier package making noises. If we can open it, I'm sure there's something good in there. If you want to, if you want to, if you wanted to come closer, why don't you try using a bell or something? A bell. A courier package that is making a growling sound. The package is out of reach. Maybe you can use something that makes a ringing sound. Ooh, this one. You ring the bell and it looks like the courier package moved closer. <gasps> moved closer. The courier package that is making a growling sound. It sounds like there's a small hungry creature in there waiting to be fed. The rice ball. Throw it some food or it won't let you open the courier package. Aww, meow meow. Woof woof. A woo a woo. Growl growl. <laughs> eep eep. Alright, let's give this to the little kitty. You place the rice ball on one side, and in the blink of an eye, a shadow seems to burst out of the package. Snap up the rice ball and let out a low growl. What on earth is in that box? Then it seems like an invisible monster crawls out from the box and shuffles along the wall. Handprints. Follow it and see. Oh no. Uh, what? Follow it and see. Oh, there. The strange handprints remain. Oh, this is what they meant by rubbering, I think. Upon closer inspection, there's a scrapped rubbing paper hidden around here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. And now we use the paper, right? 
and it's good safe that looks to be holding precious items. There is a note attached. It seems to be reminding the owner of the password. Oh right, we read this. Let's enter the password. Oh, we don't have enough clues yet. The rubbing paper. The, the thing at the back. Let's go back. The thing that we were doing before. Here you go. Try using the rubbing paper. You flick through a few pages of unused rubbing paper and place it onto the stone and carefully rub on the message on the stone. To my unfamiliar friend, I trust that you've come for my safe. However, before that, I believe you should become aware of what had transpired within this residence. As an elder burdened with a gravely ill wife, I invested a considerable sum. I invested a considerable sum to acquire this property near the Alchemy Commission. I have resided here for quite some time and have encountered numerous inexplicable phenomena. Whispers seem to emanate from the corners. An unexplainable chill occasionally fills the air, and my furniture would move on its own. These occurrences led me to experience severe nervous breakdowns, succumbing to overwhelming despair. Just as I nearly listed my home for sale, a real estate agent tormented me too. He inquired, Is your house haunted? A hundred property like this won't fetch a high price. Selling it to me at a reduced rate would be your best option. However, I never disclosed the haunted nature of my home to him. If you are perceptive enough, you might have discerned the true reason behind this haunting. I don't do things like other people. Upon discovering the truth, I resolved to seek retribution. I placed the deed within the safe, refraining from selling it to anyone and letting that agent wander about the place for all eternity. I shall depart from the Zinja for good, ensuring that he never gains possession of this abode. If you, my unfamiliar friend, would like to unlock the safe, you must solve the puzzle I have left behind. M is... 718? 39? N is... 7193? B is... 183? The combination to the safe is written on the note affixed to its surface. Enter the correct combination, you shall discover the surprise I've prepared for you. Yours most sincerely, Renault. Oh, it's Renault. Hmm. Can we just go outside and talk to Renault? Hey, what's the password? Okay, if M is 71839, then M was, was the number 8, right? N is 7193. B is 183. B is 183. 7193. Okay, I don't get it. I'll have to see if they give us more clues when we go back. Oh. Looks like we found everything we need. Let's look at the clues. So if M is 71839, N is... What is T? Don't worry, a lot of people struggled with this. Oh no! No, let's... Let's solve it. I hope we'll be able to solve this puzzle. <laughs> oh, tough. Why not try drawing them with your hands? M is like this, N is like that. What does this have to do with the numbers in a nine square... Grid? Nine square grid? You're being way too abstract. The deed is likely held inside the safe, please, for counting on you. Hmm. Looks like the clues are... Hmm, let me think. Enter the password. Uh, okay, let's see. T, the letter T. You have the clue for the password. The safe password is T. So do you have any ideas? Hmm. Seven one. 
So it looks like for M in the middle, 8 disappeared after it was N. Uh, let's see. 7, 1, 9, 3. And then it came back. V, 1, 8, 3. T. Maybe it starts with 1. Let's try number 1. Entered one. Oh, hmm. One, two. Uh, six. Doesn't seem right. I'll try again. Hmm. Let me see real quick. So M is, oh, wait, seven, one, eight, three, nine. Okay, I get it. I saw it. I see it. M is like this. V is like this. It starts at one, eight, three. I get it. And then N is seven, one, nine, three. Very clever. Very clever. So T would be one, three. Eight, right? Oh no. Okay. Hmm. V would be so V would be maybe start from eight? No, it has to be this. Start from one and then one Three, two, eight. Hi, R4. Welcome. <laughs> I hope you had a good uh, day today or had a good weekend. I see you got my adventuring. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm really happy. We tried to um, pull for, for Jing Lui, but it didn't work out, and for his Lycoon too, but it's okay. We'll try and pull more um, towards the end of the month. Hopefully we get more Jades, and if not, we'll save up for the next um, next banner. Yeah, hope you're doing good. Did you, um, did you pull for adventuring? Let's go with, okay, T. You go T, three, two, eight, three, two. Nice, you've guessed it. One, three, two, eight so far. The password must be the stroke of the order T on a nine square grid. You successfully open the safe and along the deed, alongside the deed, there is something you never expected to see, a heliopass. Thanks, I had a good day. Oh, nice. Next banner is Boot Hill. Yes, exactly. People are saying that it might be Boot Hill and Robin. And if they put Boot Hill and Robin together, oh, it's so mean. Because <laughs> it's two people that no one has yet, right? So everyone's going to try and get them. You. You finally came. Blasted humans. Cursed humans. How dare you do this to me? <gasps> Time to fight. I lost my 50 50 to buy you. Nothing and major. lost 50 to buy this light cone on Jing Liu's light cone. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, R4. But well, hopefully um, it will um, pay back for itself in the next pool that you do. Nice. Super fast. Stop. I can be reasonable. Finally, a living person for me to breathe the sweet scent of life. Let me catch my breath first. What is wrong with all of you? You think these kinds of terrifying tricks are funny? You almost scared me to death. Wait, isn't the haunting caused by the heliobi? Who told you that? Aren't humans the ones who make houses haunted? Seriously. Uh, uh, we heard from the landlord, Renault, that this place is haunted, so we came to investigate. Oh, Renault, the landlord. Wait, you were talking about Renault. He said his name was Renault. The owner of this house was indeed Renault, and he was a short-life species who died a century ago. 
So the person you actually saw was <gasps> Renault's ghost. Sushan, hey, Sushan, wake up. <laughs> I'm awake. I will absolutely have two guarantees. Firefly will come home if she comes out. Yes, exactly. She will come home. I, I said this before earlier in stream. When they release Firefly, <laughs> Hong Kai is going to make a lot of money. I think like there's going to be a lot of people who want to use sex hair. Alright, let's see here. I've had enough here. You lot, get me in the, that gourd. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh no, this Hulubai is cute. Take me somewhere with life, with some life and yang energy. If I call your name, do you dare to respond? My name is Bernie. Hurry and carry me. <laughs> so what's the deal with that Renault? Look at this picture. Isn't this the same one that's on the deed? Ah, oh, I saw that by accident. I didn't mean to see that. This is indeed the same person. The name on the deed is Renault and he was an outworlder. So who is that Renault that we met before? I think I have an idea. Come on, let's go back and see that landlord. Oh, the picture. Only had three. When we first read on Zian Zhao, Renault seems to be dated a hundred years ago. No. <sighs> Renault, are you a ghost? You're back. Well, did you find my deed? Wait, how about we test you just a little about who exactly is the owner of the household written on this deed? It, is it not Renault? <gasps> so, you are Renault? Yeah, I told you that before, I am Renault. Wrong, Renault was a short life species that passed away a century ago. It says right here on the deed, you are not the real Renault. What? You faked the haunting. You were the one that calls out, that chased out the real landlord of that haunted house. We found a picture of Renault and his family. Which one of these is you? We also found messages left behind by Renault. His family recorded multiple supernatural incidents that occurred, that uh, they encountered. In the end, these hauntings forced him to sell the place and move out of here. Just when you thought that no one would know who this outdated outworlder was, you tried to sell off his property, but realizing this haunted house really was haunted, you got scared. So you contacted us on Ghostly Grove, hoping that the Ten Lords Commission could help drive away these ghosts for you. We have all the evidence here. I am a Cloud Knight, and I will be taking you with me to the Realm Keeping Commission. Curse you. Now the truth behind the haunted house has come to light. The rest is for the Realm Keeping Commission to handle. So he was a bad person. He tormented that little who bought the house trying to get him to sell. I have already explained the situation to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'm sure they will be able to handle this. Let's go back to Fextral Gar Garden. We can put this unfortunate Heliobus in the suppression tower. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm so happy. Finally got adventuring. <laughs> Sorry, I went from like, hmm, to yee. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> let's put you inside. I never thought the results of our haunted house investigation would be that it wasn't haunted at all. So he's just like, he wasn't a real haunting, he just tormented them, yeah. Although that doesn't stop us from posting an update on Grossly Grove. Empty content. Yeah, this was made by the landlord. That's so scummy. Breaking news. The cabin in the mist. Mythopia. Debunking the haunted house, no more fake news. Hot escapes, new horror immersion marketing ploy? Mythopia. Fake news. 
This is that lousy landlord. Or realtor, I mean. I never thought someone would do something as despicable as faking a haunting to scare someone off and sell their assets for profit. We have a saying in my home world. Sometimes men's hearts are even darker than demons. Seeing how scared that Heliobus was, I finally truly understood that phrase. Even though we found out the truth behind the haunted house, I feel a little unsatisfied. Well, let's leave it there. I've got things to do. See you later. Everyone, something terrible has happened. Wawa is missing. <gasps> no, not Wawa. What, did she say where she was going before she left yesterday? No, she didn't. Now think about it. Something's been off with her since yesterday. Wawa. Calling out to her in the group chat won't help. We should contact Hanya right away. Let's meet at the usual place. Our ghost hunting squad can't afford to lose any members. I've already published a post. Since you're here, let's give it a quick once over. I'll be there soon. I'm on my way. Alright, let's go back. Nice. The next part is Fixtral Garden. Okay. Let's go ahead and teleport over. Well, uh, hopefully nothing bad's happened to her. But this means that maybe we'll be able to gain closer to Mr. Tail. I'm looking at the reply. See? Here. Miss Hanya said she's on her way. Oh, there. Hey, fam. Little Gwen needs your help right now. Folks, something eerie has happened during our nightly adventures. The ghost hunting squad is facing its greatest crisis ever. One of our team members has gone missing ever since our ghost hunting mission a few days ago. We've scattered every- we've searched everywhere, including our usual haunts, but we can't find any trace of her. If anyone has seen her, please contact Little Gwen immediately. We're counting on you. Except it appears we are all present. The spirit bearers who were supposed to report to Huo Huo mentioned they didn't see her today. I'll get straight to the point. I have no idea where Huo Huo may be. However, if we combine our efforts, we may be able to piece together some clues. Each of you are close to Huo Huo. Did you notice anything unusual about her yesterday? She was concerned about Tell. It seems like there's something weighing on her mind lately. She thinks she's slowing us down. She was concerned about Mr. Tell. Yeah, Miss Walla has been trying to track down Tail. In addition to helping the squad, that is. What if Huahua came across a lead today? Something that sounded like Tail's doing. Knowing her, she's probably gone looking for him. And yet, she didn't come to any of us for help. That's not like her. Given the type of person she is, if she did have any clues, she would seek out our help. If she hasn't shared anything with us, it means there is only one possibility. Oh. Uh, she's been deceived. Perhaps she doesn't trust us? Uh, she must have some reason for acting alone. Right. Maybe someone deceived her with news about Tail. Uh, told her she could only go alone. Sounds like a trick some nasty kidnapper would use. And oh, Wilbur would fall for it. Cirrus. The only one who may have knowledge of Tail's whereabouts is Cirrus, whose plans were foiled due to Tail's actions. Even if Cirrus doesn't know where Tail is, given the shared history, they wouldn't hesitate to cause trouble. Let's go. We must try to squeeze some answers out of Cirrus. Uh, Sirius needs to go. Foxy and Dream start. Okay, let me check this real quick to see if there's any. No, there's no request. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Kick Sirius's butt. 
Oh. Well, well. Insects who don't know when to quit. I sense you have questions. Go on. Ask away. Quafwa is missing. And I'm willing to bet you know something about it. How careless. <laughs> your companion vanishes right under your noses. And you fail to notice. Why am I the one you're pestering? She left without a word. Someone clearly deceived her. You lied to her about Tell's whereabouts. She left without a word. Someone deceived her. The Ten Lords her. Commission might not be able to completely eradicate the Helio by. But we have plenty of ways of dealing with them. Mm hmm Ooh, how threatening. <laughs> Save your breath. I know your tactics. Let's cut to the chase. I do know something about it. I knew it. Mm. Believe it or not, while you were distracted, she came and found me. She asked me if I knew where Mr. Tail was, and I simply gave her a clue. She searched high and low, but came back empty-handed, of course. If only you could have seen her expression. Simultaneously terrified and desperate to know more. <laughs> Utterly hilarious. Mm. Seriously, you need to go. In the end, I became fed up with her constant nagging. I told her that her beloved tail had splintered and been reduced to an ember without a single memory. You should have seen her face! <laughs> Don't bully Wafa. Don't oh, bully her. Does it hurt? You'll be pleased to know I didn't drag out the suffering. I told her that her tail was hiding in Cloudford, preparing to flee the Sienjo on a star skiff. What? I also told her that the Ten Lords Commission was in the process of recapturing all the Heliobi. If she were to turn to you for help, Mr. Tail would be imprisoned, even if she managed to find him. Looks like she took the bait. How dare you? Lies. You can't possibly know where Tail disappeared to. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I have no doubt about one thing. My friends are ready and waiting for her in Cloudford. Friends? How could Wawa be tricked so easily? That means Wawa is... You should have faith in your friend. Perhaps Wawa is safe and sound. Perhaps she managed to subdue the Heliobi. If you rush to Cloudford, there's still a chance you might find her. Not good. Let's head to Cloudford quickly. The paperwork will have to wait. I'm coming with you. Yes, come with us. Oh, Cyrus, I want to punch you. <laughs> Get out of here. here huh? Then I guess you're not too concerned about your friend. Mm. Oh dear. Alright, let's go. Okay, how far? There's Wawa! Oh my goodness. Wawa? Wawa? What do we do now? I I I'll go get help from the Alchemy Commission. Hold on. Let me take a look at her. Hanya carefully examined Wawa's vital signs. She's unresponsive. Oh no. It looks like a Heliobus has taken control of her mind. How could this happen? Should we try using the harmonic chime? This isn't just a heliobus illusion. It's a complete sensory barrier. Cutting off the individual from the outside world. In this case, even the harmonic chime won't work. Oh no. This isn't something the healers at the Alchemy Commission can handle. I'll take Huo Huo back to the Ten Lords Commission. Perhaps they'll have an answer. As for now, I'm temporarily suspending the activities of the ghost hunting squad. Oh no. What? The situation has changed completely. Without the assistance of a judge, continuing would place all of you in grave danger. Defeating the purpose of the squad. 
But Miss Tanya, this is to save our friend. I know. I understand. But please, let the Ten Lords Commission deal with this. We'll find a way to extract this Heliobus from Huohua. Miss Tanya, tell me straight. Does the Ten Lords Commission actually have a solution? Hmm. <laughs> tell Mr. Tony to come back and get rid of this Heliobus. Heliobus and Wawa. Surely the Ten Lords can fix this. Let's interrogate Sirius. I agree. Let's interrogate Sirius. Yeah. Sirius is bound to know what this Heliobus is up to. No. We shouldn't do what they expect us to do. They've been manipulating us from Fixtral Garden all along. We need to find out what they really want before we go any further. That's smart. Yeah. I'm not completely out of options. It might be possible to use another Heliobus to drive out the one that seized what was mind. Right. But why would a Heliobus ever want to help people? Wait. Miss Hanya, do you mean to say that... Mr. Tail. Hanya produces the little number of gore from her sleeves. I've been keeping Tail here <gasps> all along. Really? Hanya. What? Don't look so surprised, young lady. Hi. Oh my goodness, he's been here this whole time. Poor Wawa. Surprised? Uh, Wawa has been worried sick trying to find you, and now something else has gone after her. You flaming furball! What the heck is going on? Did you know about this the whole time, Miss Hanya? As per our rules, any free-roaming Heliobus must be sealed away. I was merely following protocol. Besides, it was Tail who requested this. Mm. <sighs> it's a long story. Oh, I got a comment. I really love Hanya's outfit. <laughs> I only recall it's a really cool. during that fateful night when my consciousness was on the verge of shattering into a million pieces. Time stood still. Oh. And I watched myself parting from Ignamar, drifting without purpose. Then, before I knew what had happened, the girl had retrieved me, and a judge of the Ten Lords Commission had shielded me within a tail. I believe you humans call this kind of thing an end-of-life experience. But why would a Heliobus experience one of those? Ridiculous. Since I'd slipped the leash, I thought I might as well change bodies and savor a bit of freedom. But then... Mm. Lucky for you, you met me. <sighs> My luck took a sour turn when I ran into this demoness. I mean, judge. He sounds like... Ugh, but I, it kind of doesn't really mean it. When I was with Huahua, she constantly rant about me. Whining about all the problems I caused her. How it ruined her life. <laughs> uh, it was only after I vanished that she realized she'd taken my power for granted. I wanted to hear her cry about it. So, in a fit of anger, I had this demon, a judge, imprison me in the gourd. You had had your wish. Now, I'm offering you a chance to regain your freedom. Not by letting you go, but by going back to the way things were. Do we have a deal? Now I have a sinking suspicion that Tail purposely got caught by her and was like, I just want to see Wawa run around without me for a bit before I, I come back. <laughs> just to see her grow up a little bit. Can I trust you, Tail? Ugh. Of course, we're pretty much co-workers at this point. So, all I have to do is possess Hua Hua and take out those other pesky Heliobi, right? Yeah, you know you want to. Aww, Hua Hua. Time to give this heedless creature a reality check. It's all up to you now, Tao. <laughs> it's exorcism o'clock! Alright, okay, we have to help drive out whatever is in there. Yay, my team adventure! Where... Where am I? Tail? Are 
are you here? Oh, no. I feel like I've been possessed. Tail, is that you? Oh. oh, no. No, it can't be him. Tail always said only the most privileged are worthy of being his host. You are worthy. Stop overthinking, Hoa. What should I do now? <gasps> Who is that? Mom? Oh. Is this an illusion? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? I've missed you so much. <sighs> S -s Stay back. Don't come any closer. I don't know who you are, but you're not my ho Oh, no. Keep that filthy thing you're carrying away from me. But, Mom, it's me, Wawa. Is my sister okay? Sister. But I'm still me. I'm the one in control. It's just a matter of time before it takes control of you. Oh, they were scared of tail. I'm sorry, Hua Hua. Your father and I had no choice but to send you to the Ten Lords Commission. Oh, it's best if you pretend we never existed. Oh no. Even though she knows this is just a mirage made by the Helio bus. Uh -huh. That's cruel. Oh. Hey, I remember you. Kuo's tail is all bent. It looks like a giant sparkler. I would like a sparkler tail. I think it would be very pretty. for you I can't stand people who do that I can't stand mean mean little kids <laughs> I'm not you're you're all so mean you're all so mean believe that freaky tail of yours no one else has a tail that catches fire <laughs> get lost we shouldn't be talking to a monster anyway let's get out of here Your kills are boring, even though she knows this is just an illusion. I'm not a monster. <laughs> what should I do? You know, even though she... Even though she felt like she was tormented by having Till all this time, she... Realized... Breath of fresh air. They've all gone. All abandoned me. All gone. Just watch me. I'll drag them all back. Yeah. I really love the relationship I now. Like, oh my gosh, we're we're Mr. Tail. Look. That's so cute. Ugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's so cute. All right. Um. Yeah, let's get back. Everyone will leave. They always do. Eventually. What about your ghost hunting buddies? What about your ghost hunting buddies? <laughs> they aren't here. What about those ten lord commission fo folkies? What about those ten lords fogies? They aren't here. You have me, don't you? You have me, don't you? Just wait. I'm going to bring everyone here. 
really love how he cares for her in his own way. He's just like, ah, oh, fine. One second. <laughs> Let me go and get them. Aww. Yeah, look at this. I wanted a frame. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, here's your mom. I'm gonna go get your mom. Possess. Tell us is Wawa's mother and tries to bring her back to Wawa. Let's bring this one back. Oh, I can't go back to the door. Gotta go a different way, I guess. Hua, I'm sorry. It's better that you pretend mom and dad are no longer here. How can your own flesh and blood be so heartless? These humans. Yeah. Oh, made the door up. Yeah, there you go. Now open. Till takes Wawa's mother back to her. Yeah, here you go. Everyone will leave. Yeah. All right, let's look at more. Ooh, I like how it goes fast, like, boop! <laughs> Alright, pass through. Tell felt like he could hear the memories of a devil. Tell, you must not go through there. Do not go through there. Ooh, that's kind of scary. How do I get over there, though? Maybe here? And up here? No, okay, let's go back. Um, bum, bum. Oh, oh, there we go. Pass through. And then unlock the door. Tell us he's capable of interacting with mechanisms. Maybe we should find someone who's possessed to trigger them. Ooh, up here. Oh, here's one kid. You probably won't be able to leave right now if you're possessed. Oh, right, because the doors are locked. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, here. Here's a kid. Well, uh, this classmate tries to bring him back to Wawa. Let's bring this one back. Here we go. Why does Wawa get so much attention? I'm gonna get everyone to ignore her. Oh, so mean. Oh, the behavior of these brats is astounding. Exactly. Very mean. Here we go. Tells us the two and tries to bring them back to Vova together. Jealousy is such an ugly emotion. Come on, let's go. Was time. <laughs> Who's back? <laughs> Our precious girl. Mom and Dad shouldn't have left you all alone. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm trying to pretend to be the mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just jealous that your tail is cooler than mine. Exactly. They're <laughs> jealous. I've always dreamed about having such a cool tail. Why don't you come play with me? <laughs> Oh, they're only here because you possessed them and made them come back. This isn't what I meant. Oh, come on. You wanted them to return. They return. Tails? You're not an illusion. Oh, oh, you're here. Yeah. You're actually Tails. <laughs> ah, where have you been all this time? I thought you were already... <laughs> Dead. Well, I haven't exactly had a picnic. Exploding into countless shards, being your shadow for all those rotten years. It's about time I had some good luck. I thought about getting out of here, but... 
I couldn't shake the feeling there was something wrong. Yeah. So I came back to see if you could manage on your own or if you were still a scary cat. Cares. I'm sorry. I guess I still am. Is very. No, you're selling yourself short. You're daring. How you had the courage to do something so dangerous amazes me. It's not bravery you uh... lack, but sense. <laughs> choice did I have? I suspected that Cirrus was deceiving me, but the thought of losing you forever was uh, unbearable. Mm. Forget about all that. I'm here now. But did everyone really leave you because of me? They left. Let them be. But at least you're back now, right? me Aww. and that's all i need well since you put it like that i suppose i have nothing to feel guilty about anymore <laughs> uh, there's so well, somebody needs to keep you out of trouble speaking of which there's a pesky heliobus lurking right here i'm coming for you <laughs> don't even think about escaping <laughs> and the heliobus is like oh oh no okay here you go He's such a Sunday chow. Yeah, exactly. I agree. All right, we gotta fight. Um, let's see here. Support to Van Hunt. Oh, Belle. Enhance. Oh, nice. This person's weak to mine. Tell her the friend who stepped up. Yeah, exactly. Why? I agree. All right. Oh, I can't use my thing. Oh, I the dice have been cast. Yay! <laughs> I'm so Bust. glad. Or maybe I'll take it off. Nice. All right, let's see here. Um, let's do. Let's do. A. Let's do this. Oh no! Oh! Oh my goodness! Let's play for a while. Okay. Yeah, I really need to level up my relics or invest time into that later. Nice. I hit the mark. Eternal slip and return. Awaken the world cleansing dragon. Action advanced. Oh wait, maybe not too much, but let's see. Let's do this again. Let's do that. Yeah, Tell's a very good friend. Like, if people leave you, let them. And you'll have room for good friends. Ooh, defense. Let's do this. I'm gonna see this. Nice. Wow, good for defense. Nice. Like the ultimate imaginary team. Challenge complete. Alright. was a success <sighs> yeah madam hanya miss quay su shong and miss mm -hmm. trailblazer your real friends and family pretty much thank you all of you are you the ones who brought tail back well where would we be without our squad leader we had to help and now i wonder because there was an option for Wawa to say, how's my sister doing? Wawa has a sister. Oh, so Scary Cat is squad leader. Well, well, look at you. Aw, uh, that's just what Miss Gwen Ivan calls me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Tail actually does belong to Miss Wawa. Uh, excuse me? Despite Cirrus's scheming and calculating, 
They clearly didn't expect Tail to return to Huo Huo. Their plan to kidnap her was an utter failure. Mm. If they saw Huo Huo as she is now, it would break their will. Good, yeah, let's go break Sarah's because they need to go. No. Cirrus may not know the location of Tail, but they still figured out a way to divert everyone's attention. This was definitely Cirrus's ruse to divert our attention. Cirrus was waiting for us to leave Fuckstroke Garden all along. Uh, it's not because of me, is it? No. There's she no would have found another way. Yourself. This was Cirrus's plan all along. Yeah. It looks like the end game that General Jing Yuan has been trying to avoid is fast approaching. Sushang, please head to the seat of Divine Foresight and fetch the general. We're going to need to teach Kriya about cavern farming? Ooh. Let's hurry back to Fixtral Garden now, while there's still a chance to turn things around. It's time to teach Cirrus a lesson. Yes, you guys teach me what my sense says. <laughs> I need to I need to level up like really badly. But now that I have like a really good healer and a really good tank, I think I think it's okay-ish, but still. Time to kick Sarah's butt. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh my gosh. Um, let me should I eat food just in case or let's let's see how we do. Oh. It isn't the judges of the Ten Lords Commission sluggish as ever? These are really cute and pretty. Like jawbreakers. Oh! And is that Mr. Tail? Back to being a guard dog, I see. How delightful! This calls for a celebration. Still, after our last encounter, I have no intention of including you in my plans. To see Ignamar's most powerful fragment now burdened with emotions pains me. Mm -hmm. It's a pity, but you've become expendable. And you've got all the healing by for her, us here to exercise. The Cabinet of Corrosion is where you can farm for specific relic sets. That lets you build your force piece sets for characters which are tailored to their kids. Ooh, that looks nice. Yes, I'll have to depend on you guys later for more advice on that. I think I'll have to do farming. For, um, I guess relics, cabin farming is, yeah, relics for, for the gears and... Yeah, we'll have to do that. <laughs> Who are you calling expendable? The Ten Lords Commission's Matrix is still intact. The Heliobi cannot leave Fixtral Garden. You may think you have the upper hand, but you're nothing more than a caged animal. You will never leave here. <laughs> leave? That was never my plan. I came to Fixtral Garden for one reason and one reason only. Oh? To fight the Lofu's formidable general? That's all they want to do is they want to fight the general. I merely capitalized on that. Well, you were all out on a wild goose chase. I rallied other Heliobi to my cause, thereby increasing my strength. Thanks to all of you, I've amassed the power of every Heliobus sealed within Fixtral Garden. All I need to do now is wait for the General to make his grand entrance. Before that happens, I should keep my end of the bargain. Destroying you without leaving a trace. You'll never fight the general. It's a lot more targeted than general simulated universe stuff. Ooh, that's good. Uh, serious healer viability can cause all enemies to immediately take action. Oh no. There's a good chance that allies with Fiendfire can switch to the enemy's side, so watch out. Oh no. Don't forget that we can use your ultimates to turn the tide. Okay, let's uh, let's do that. Being able to flexibly use the extra mimics in the lumbar gourd is key to getting an advantage. Bust. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Nice. All right. Let me support Tenhan real quick, and then I'll do this. Let's 
you find the answer? <laughs> I feel like I should leave one ultimate just in case for this flame that's coming up. Um, so let's do this. Get rid of these guys. Ooh, this lady came up. Um, let's do. Let's do this. It's on me. I'll see you off. Okay. Even as a oh shit oh sorry I forgot I didn't realize if our flame came up but even at a e, uh, e one I think he's really nice right like you don't have to go beyond that let's do shields nice oh wait what happened. I guess I'll heal. Uh, they keep on coming back for more. What should we do, Tail? I saw someone put up a 3k shield. Wow. I might lack physical form, but they're not impervious to physical attacks. Cirrus is merely putting on a brave face. This is a new cutscene. I think you lagged out. The yeah. That's even a hint of defeat. It's over. They'll break into pieces regardless I mean, of how powerful I mean, they I'll, are. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> we beat the boss. So, just like what happened to Ignamar, once a Heliobus realizes they're going to lose, they'll shatter? Uh. Exactly. And if there's anyone who can cause Cirrus to shatter, it's him. Ding you on. So, General, you finally decided to show up. Ready to face the music? Defeat my army and I'll give you the rematch you seek. My words hold true. As I mentioned previously, when Tang Xiao and Ignamar fought, the scales were balanced. But for you, Cirrus, this game was never about fairness, was it? And yet here we are. My power decidedly outmatches yours. Notions of rules and equal competition are mere illusions. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't mind, allow me to show you how the end game you know, is played. After playing 2.1, it's like a breath of fresh air seeing Jing Yuan again. This is the same Zhao is very straightforward. Will we get him on our team? No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Nothing major. Yeah. Um, let me do support. And then I'll do. I'll do this. Awaken Thulin Scales. World Cleansing Dragon. Let me, um. Hmm. Save, save one for this. So I will do. Let me do this. Cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Nah, I'm straight. But uh, gosh, Jingyu one and Bitter Lion look fine. Yes, exactly. I agree. <laughs> There's, I a lot of people like uh feel the same. I'll see you. Oh, <laughs> time for Jimmy Ron to show his master strategy. <laughs> okay, let's see this. Yes. 
Yeah, I know. Ankai does a really amazing job of making all the characters there. It's so good. Alright, let's do... Let's do another. Right? Or no, let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, I should have shielded. Hmm. If I wanted to. Hmm. Yes. You chose the wrong enemy. Okay, let's do restore real quick. Receive divinity. Repay. Nice. Okay. Now let's do support for that. Let's do defense. It's on me. Nice, That's and we'll change boss. that flame to blue. Or maybe I'll take it off. Take it off. Watch your head. Nice. You know, it's been a while since I've really played a character that has like a follow-up attack, so it's a breath of fresh air for that too. Um. Hmm, let's break this guy. Wait, did you do the companion quest, Cloud Needs No Trace? We did! It was such a good quest. Um, and I want more. I want to know more about their friend. Because she's so, like, I, I, I don't, I want to know more about the backstory, about what drove them to want to bring her back to life. Because she was like a very special person to all of them, it seems like. Can you find the answer? Nice. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Wicked um, scales. Num bum num. World cleansing track. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, excuse me, bye bye. Um two. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, that was such a good class. I really, we really need more. Uh, let's heal up. Eventually. Oh no, he doesn't get out. Oh, he does. Okay, good. Let's do this. Eternal sleep is not the end. Have you seen the anime short of flashback? By Jingyu Wan and Jinglu? I did, and it was so. It was so good because basically what what it meant was that um like Jing Yuan was patching was passing the, the torch for, or no Jing Yu was patching the torch to Jing Yuan for teaching the new generation. It was it was like a really nice correlation because it was like Jing Yuan used to be her student, right? And he was small, and now he's teaching Yan Qing, who is going to be the new generation. And just like seeing him struggle with having to fight his master. <sighs> oh no! Okay, go ahead. Nice! Little chat for me and Alright, let's get rid of this person. <laughs> Or maybe I'll take it off. Yes, take it off. I'll go easy this time. Sure, I'll play along. Alright. Yeah. yeah, all the animations for Hong Kai are so well put together, they're so good. Like, I'm glad that they're it's investing the money that they get from all the banners to put out really beautiful animations. They could like easily pocket that money and never invest oh. into those. And I'm glad that they do. I'll see you off. Nice. Alright, and we are done. I think, right? Oh wait, no, she has 9%. She's not dying. Or not going in me. Uh, let's do this. There we go. It is over. As long as Jing Yuan teaches other people the certain ship, Jing Yuan will never be forgotten. That's beautiful. 
That's we so play cool. by our own set of rules. Uh uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Do you know this is a giant? Uh, 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 Checkmate. Oh my goodness, that was see. so sweet. Good. I am no ignore. I'm nothing. Nothing more than a faint flicker. Mm -hmm. After he saw that. I know of no faint flicker that could strategize such a fierce battle against one of the Rainbow Arbiter's generals. Oh, he's being super sweet too. Serious. Listening to a winner feign humility is enough to make one sick. The heliobi may reflect our desires, but their fervent blaze is undeniably awe-inspiring. Neither General Tung Xiao nor myself would deride such a foe. I have been bested. It's true. I only sought to lock horns with you regardless of victory or defeat. Next, I'll... Next is eternal punishment. Mm. For an inextinguishable flame such as yourself, I see no punishment more fitting than to see you confined to a vacant abyss, forever lamenting your past transgressions. Oh, uh, one moment. I'll be right back. I hear Kitty outside crying, so I think she wants to come in. I'll be right back. Let me get her majesty. Her Majesty is here. I put her in front of the water bowl in case she wanted some water before coming up, but it looks like she's gonna come up. Hello. Mama. Yes. Oh, she woke up from her nap. She was sunbathing this morning. Oh, my fluffy fur baby. I'm trying to get her to poop. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a little TMI, but I've been trying to get her to poop because she hasn't pooped for a few days. So I gave her some, like... <laughs> we are blessed this day. Yeah, how is your kitty, Lola? I hope she's doing well. Or he. Yeah, the face rubs. Okay. But yeah, I forget that the Hula Bai are actually really sad beings because without humans, they would be just fine. But with humans, they, like, go crazy. So it's not really their fault. Such is the fate that awaits you, Sirius. Mm, he's gotten a whole lot clingy in the past couple of weeks. Oh, you know, I treasure those moments when they get when they get really clingy. <laughs> but it makes you feel bad when you got to leave um, for somewhere, like for work and stuff. <laughs> so be it. Mountains will crumble. Oceans will evaporate, but the Heliobi will always be there, mm -hmm. patiently waiting for their day of freedom. And that day will come. At least they have each other, right? The Heliobi? As long as the generals of the Sienjo live, my battle against them will continue. Until the stars themselves burn out. Their whole existence is just to fight the general. Cirrus's will to fight has been shattered. They can no longer pose a threat. Considering that everything here is now under control, I'll take my leave. Thanks for stepping in, General. My masterstroke wasn't that bad at, after all. Thanks for stepping I in. I nearly fulfilled my duty and kept my promise to Cirrus. But the Heliobus we dealt with will not be easily dismissed. Given sufficient time, and regardless of how slim the odds are, they will someday break the seal that binds them. However, that concern will fall to the generals of the future. Mm. 
Hopefully not during Yun Jing's time, but yeah, generally Jing Wan's just like it's not my problem <laughs> anymore. One cannot help but wonder how many Law Fu generals this fragment of Ignamar will face in times to come. Speaking purely from the perspective of a warrior, mm -hmm. I must say, I feel somewhat envious. But Hilibar's objective is pretty simple, don't you think? It would have been easier if he stepped in from the start. In my estimation, this Heliobus was not an overwhelming problem for you. Besides, each of you has appeared to gain something from this series of events. This excursion was not an official matter. I didn't report it to the counselors. What remains of it will be left to the Ten Lords Commission. And once matters have concluded, I believe everyone present will be duly rewarded. <laughs> uh, Kitty uh, wants aggressive pats right now. She's like, mm, give me all the attention. And as for you and the young Miss Gwynaifin, rest assured you won't be shortchanged. You see? Helping the general of the law fool does have its perks. <laughs> it's time I took my leave. Farewell. <laughs> you are such a good friend. Uh, I'm glad he considers us a good friend. I wonder if Cyrus let go of that person's body. It'd be so cruel just to leave it like that. No. <sighs> Probably not, because Jing Yuan said that you're going to be banished, so probably that person was saved. Oops, let's go back this way. Yeah. Aww, what will you're I here. tell? I've just finished reinscribing the seal on Huokwa's tail. Next, it's time to address the matter of Cirrus. Mm. What do you know? Oh, what did I say? This is between me and the Ten Lords Commission. A non-aggressive pact, if you like. Mm. According to the Ten Lords, Tail must be supervised by a judge. <laughs> I'll make sure to take good care of Mr. Tail. Oh, she's so happy now. <laughs> Let's see who takes care of who. Mm, besides, when Mr. Tail isn't around, the other Helio by pick on me. I feel safer when Tail is here. Hmm. <laughs> Other Heliobi. <laughs> I'm the only Heliobus you need to worry about. <laughs> I like how in the beginning, Velva was like, I, my life is miserable because of you, Mr. Tail. And now she's like, my life is better with you in it. Well then, I will take care of the Sira situation. As for what gets written in the Lawfu's ghostly grove, I'll leave that up to you. One more thing. Don't forget to seal the helio by within the evil binding matrix. Ooh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Along with Sirius. Yeah, like how in the beginning she was just like I can't with with um Mr. Tail and then later she found out exactly how important he is to her cuz like he's taking care of her when everyone else has left her pretty much. Alright, let's go this way. Ooh! I bumped into the ghost! You can collide. Yeah, it's a barrier. You're not a real ghost. Ugh, like I said, I, can't, I really regret not pulling for Acreon. It'd be nice to have. Ooh, another ghost. Ooh, cackle. Nice to have something to like farm with. Evil, expel evil and capture stray spirits. With the support of the Ten Lords Commission spirit bearers, you steal the Heliobus within the Lamb Ward. I wrote Gord. to my mom about the recent monster slaying and demon fighting stuff I've been doing for the Ten Lords Commission. Huh? What did you tell her? I told her I went toe to toe with the sword fighting prodigy Yenqing and held my own against fragments of Ingramar. But all she did was scold me for getting into trouble. Uh. <laughs> she was being sarcastic. No, it's always, uh, a parent's, like, thing. It's like, oh, I'm glad you did that, but you put yourself in danger. Perhaps she's worried you're neglecting your regular duties. 
You still have a lot to learn. You sound just like her. <laughs> <laughs> Quit worrying, Su Shang. You've been an awesome squad member and a very talented sleepyhead. Now, let's think about what to publish on Ghostly Grove. This is huge news. This post will definitely boost our following. Always on the hunt for more followers. It's called professionalism, all right? I'm counting on you. Mm, okay, let's see. Oh, this picture. Um, breaking news. Unreal Ancient Evil Awakened. Ghost Hunting Squad recounts near-death experience. Hmm. This is what you should do with unknown mushrooms. Spoiler alert, don't eat them. <laughs> Walk tortures her. Work tortures her. See how this young girl broke free. Breaking news. The ghost hunting squad can now rest easy for a while. Speaking as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, I must thank you all for the dedication you've shown these past few days. You really minimized the impact of the Heliobi crisis. There may have been a few Heliobi that slipped through the net, but they are of no major concern. Mm, hopefully they'll get all them. Leave them to us. Yeah. I don't want to brag, but our articles on Ghostly Grove are the talk of the town. If we suddenly stop uploading, it'd be pretty unfair to our audience. Miss Gwei. Madam Hanya, uh, please let little Gwei carry on uploading. I can't fall asleep without browsing Ghostly Grove before bed. <sighs> you seem pretty set on this, so I won't stand in your way. However, bear in mind that... Don't worry. We promise not to make your job any harder than it already is. Let's sync up our intel as per usual. Remember to share the account updates. The general's learning lord is so cool. So cool. So cool. This is my first time seeing it. So cool every time. I agree. It's so cool every time. I feel it's super cool, right? Let's head back. Let's get back to the topic. Well, congrats to Wawa for getting Tail back. Hey, yeah, or no. Yeah, who would have thought that Tail was with Hanya? I heard it took Tail a long time to recover. It must have been tough. Hold on, something just crossed my mind. Are you planning to take a photo of Tail? Wait, how did you know? <laughs> well, don't push yourself, Wawa. What does Tail say about this? Why don't you ask Tail first? Oh, Mr. Tell says he's not interested. Well, if Mr. Tell isn't interested, that's fine. We have plenty of other topics to discuss. First things first, let's check our account now. Ooh, let's see it. Yay, we completed Boxing Dream! Wilma well, has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Wilma well when you return. Aww. New message. Greetings, do you remember me? It's me, the Heliobus who disguised as when you once wife <gasps> from that one quest. Okay. I uh, we'll have to look at that later, but I wanna read the message. Oh no, not this one. <gasps> Where's our message? Darn it, we didn't <sighs> Oh maybe we can reread it. I want to recommend my way of relaxing to everyone. Oh. In Starskip Heaven, find a place you can see the skip lane and just space out. You can do that at the Sleeping Earl, too. Looking at the Starskip passing by, he won't even know how much time has passed. That's very soothing to me. Can't relate, can't relate. Mm, can't totally relate. So listening to the sound of rainfall to distress, I can relate. That's right. I'm a little concerned for both of your mental well-being. <laughs> hey, if you have anything to share, you know you are safe to talk to us, right? So I'm, I've already been here for almost a, half a day. It's very relaxing. Oh, wait. Did something happen? I'm back. Uh, Mr. Zian came over, gave me a pocket full of candies without saying anything and left. Ah, what's going on? Aww. Well, was adorable. 
This proves that you are adorable. If I were nearby, I would have given you some candies too. Like how people can't help telling help themselves but feed the koi fish in the pond. Don't let those ponds discourage don't those ponds discourage feeding? No one is discouraged from feeding Wava. I agree. That's true. Did we get sidetracked? I have some candies too. Where are you, Wava? I have some candies too, full speed ahead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no need to come here, I've already left. All the candy. All right, let me go back to the messages because there was, there was a message from, how'd I get back? Oh, maybe here. Messages. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Do you remember me? I am, it's me, the Hilly Busted disguised as Wen Yuan's wife. The healers from the Alchemy Commission took him away. They never came back. According to the Foxian tradition, those close to the deceased should present an item from their belongings. I'll offer him a kite at the fox tome, some tome in Fixtral Garden. It will be my personal way of remembering him. Once this is done, I will be waiting for you to steal me once again. See you there. Ah, uh, do you guys remember when we allowed the um Hiliobai to be with that man because? They had disguised themselves as his wife. Oh, they kept their promise. Hey, yeah, that's nice. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, I was tearing up when I saw this first continuation, exactly. Uh, alright, what's this? Ooh, there's two more quests. Haunted ghosts, I keep getting stuff in my pics. Is this... March? A quest for March? Have returned, had something come up real fast. Oh, welcome back, Josh. No worries. I hope, um, you were able to... to fix that thing. Or fix whatever it came up. <laughs> We just finished Wawa's companion quest and reunited her with Tell. Um, and now I think we might finish these side quests, these two, before we end the stream today. Um, yeah, let's see. Colic suddenly feels like a totally different person. Yeah, that way by tomorrow we can maybe do Kafka's and Argentine's quests along with um, finishing Natasha's quest, and then we have Sparkle and Black Swan's companion quest to do. So, yes, we have a list. Don't forget to visit Vova on the Express, too. Yes, exactly. Um, should we do these two quests? Let's see how. Hmm. Or we can do them tomorrow. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm a tourist here on the Zian Jiao. This is March. Oh wait, it's not March. I'm a tourist here on the Zian Jiao. And I've been enjoying my days exploring, eating, and taking beautiful photos. Yesterday at night, while laying in bed and flipping through my photo album, I noticed several of the pictures had a strange jet black shadow in them. Sometimes it was behind people, and other times it seemed to be attached to something. So I took a few new photos, but that thing still hasn't disappeared. Is the express haunted? I keep feeling a shield on my spine. It's March. Sparkle's quest is really funny, all I'm going to say. Ooh, I can't wait. So yeah, maybe tomorrow we'll do... Oh, no, tomorrow we should finish Kafka's and Argentine's. And then try and do Natasha's. And then the day after we can do Sparkle's. <laughs> and then we'll see what we do after. Oh, let's accept the class. Kriya, have you seen that post? I talked to the OP and she claimed that she knew you. March 7th. Does that mean the requester is someone you know? Yes, Miss March 7th is a member of the Express Nameless and Kriya's important companion. Come to think of it, we saw Hilibus wandering around her the last time and it suddenly disappeared. Could it be related to this event? 
No point in making wild guesses here. Since the requester is a member of the crew, we'll leave this matter to you. Leave it to the galactic baseballer. Here, take this talisman with you. Place it on the suspect and you'll know if that person has been possessed by the Heliobus. As for the Lunumba Gourds, we don't have many left now. Please use this modified birdcage to imprison it temporarily and bring it to the suppression tower to subdue it. Well, well, sure did a lot of prep work, but things seem a little sketchy this time. Whatever works, we'll wait for your, your good news. Hmm, okay. Let's go. These are the last two quests, right? Within um, this haunted Foxtrail Garden, I think. You made me well, ba. Okay. Where is. Oh, there she is. And there's Wawa. Priya, you're back. What happened? After bidding goodbyes to you and Wawa that day, I returned to the Express to look at my photographs. And guess what? All my beautiful photos, and I do mean all, have these new and weird shadows inside them. It's so scary. Say, do you think the Express is haunted? What should I do? You explained to March 7 about the ghost hunting squad and the talisman. Oh, in other words, this talisman is the same as the one you post you pasted on me previously. That sounds like a great idea. We can use it to check every member of the crew, and we will be able to find the one possessed by the Helio bus in no time. Uh, let's go. Stay here and don't wander around. You can take some pictures there and come back. March, yeah. <laughs> March got hunted. Uh, you're trying to get rid of me. No way, this time I'm coming too. Don't worry, I'm experienced. When Wilba placed it on me, I observed how she did it. This time I want to try placing talisman on someone else. Wilba! Too peaceful. Mm, why do I feel like someone's watching me? Yeah, cause it's me. Welcome to the Axel Express. <laughs> Scary ghost noises. Welcome to the Axel Express, Wilba. Ah! Oh, it's you, Miss Trailblazer. That's a relief. Welcome aboard the Astro Express. Remember to take lots of pictures. Welcome, Wova. Remember to try Miss Himiko's coffee. Oh, good idea. The uh -huh. Astral Express is so peaceful and majestic. I've only been in the parlor car a few moments, and I already feel calmer. <laughs> this place is the best. Yeah. Oh, Wova. The Express is such a lovely place. <clears throat> Next time I visit, please, remember not to sneak up on me from behind! Oh yeah, our first huge head of March as well? Oh, March is our bestie. <laughs> She's such a precious person. Oh, Wilt. Pays a talisman on him. Talisman quietly stays on Wilt's coat. No reaction. It seems like Mr. Yang doesn't have any problems either. What is it? You tell Wilt about March 7th's request. <laughs> Our first face, yes he is. Um, I see, I didn't discover any strange occurrences on the Express recently. Maybe the problem doesn't lie with the members. Of course, that's just my unfounded speculation. You should continue your investigation. You know, I heard something really interesting about Wilt, or Mr. Yang. Apparently, he's like really OP, but he holds back um, because he doesn't want to pass on judgment too quickly. But if he, like, he he's nerfed in the story, but in reality, he's very like OP. Did you know that Walt glued his, glued, glued his room door to reality himself, itself? Ooh. Got it, thanks, Mr. Yang. One second. You go outside? Can you come here? Can you come and sit with me? What? There you go. Okay. It's funny that Wawa is actually a lot older than she looks, um, but is still considered a kid by Z and Jiao's standards. Yeah, exactly. Their standards for age always throws me off. 
not just time to reveal to tell all the Honkai impact of their knowledge I have about. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. R4 is excited. Talisman quietly stays on Pom Pom and takes a few hairs of their body off with it. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a small test with Kriya. Congratulations, Pom Pom. You passed the test. Don't treat your conductor like a fool. Aw. Alright, let's do the last one. And I'll be on Miss Himika. The talisman quietly stays on Himiko's clothes. It doesn't have any reaction. It seems like Himiko is fine, just as I expected. Did you bring this toy from the Zianjiao? It's nothing, Himiko. This shouldn't be the case. Everyone on the express is normal. Where could the Hilagibus be hiding? Perhaps the problem lies with you. Probably in the camera. Uh, me? How can it be? Didn't you test me the last time? Forget it. Come and slap it on me again. You carefully check March 7th's entire person. Finally, the talisman begins to glow. The source of the problem lies with March 7th's camera. I am, well, March and Flowerflower are my favorite characters, and I forgot Branya. Yeah, those are good choices. I I love all the characters of Honkai. It's just uh, it's so hard to pick. <laughs> but yeah, no, feel free to share your um, knowledge of Honkai the Third lore because I'm not sure if we'll we'll get to play it anytime soon. But by the time we do get to play it, I'll probably have forgotten everything. <laughs> my memory is like horrible. I can't believe it's really me. It's one of the fragments I escaped the other day. Oh no wonder the talisman didn't react when it's on me then. It turns out that the hilly bus was hidden in my precious camera. Dastardly. I didn't expect you to find me, if that's the case. Oh no, it's attacking. But please spare my life. Are all healed by such whims? In any case, you should imprison it somewhere. Don't let it possess anything else again. I just escaped not long ago, and now I'm going to be sealed again. There's still so much I haven't done. So many sights I haven't seen. Oh, I just want to explore. What are you doing in the camera? I don't know what fragmented me. The first time I was aware of myself was when I was locked up in a dark place. I had not been out, seen the outside world, but hearing the others talking about it aroused my curiosity. I didn't know your little box had so many beautiful pictures, so I got distracted looking at them. Then I thought perhaps possessing this box might be a good idea. I can take the chance to see all the beautiful scenery. Oh, you sound so pitiful. Why did you look for March? I've never thought of draining a human. I was just attracted to her vibe. Ah, oh, the Tilibai is based. I couldn't help but get closer to her. We Tilibai are born as pure and innocent as her, like a quiet burning flame. I guess maybe that's why I was attracted by her. Yeah, what are you, when are you going to praise me like this? <laughs> what do you think I should do with you? In ancient times, beyond my memory, the ancestral Hulabai wandered around the universe without any interaction or worries. Intention or worries. And I think that was pretty good. I intend to follow my ancestors' example. Leave the Zianjiao, rejoin the universe, and live a life of freedom. I don't get along well with the Hulabai that feed on human emotions. Oh, this healing pie is good. I know it's hard to fulfill this wish, so no matter what you plan to do with me, please allow me to see the scenery in those photos first. If I'm still with my regrets, I won't be able to burn brightly anymore. March, what do you think? Hmm, you mentioned before that a healing pie's possession will do a lot of harm to the host. However, I haven't felt anything so far, which means it hasn't done any harm to me. And since it appreciates my photos, how, how can it be bad? So, I don't see what's wrong with fulfilling its wish. Coincidentally, I plan to walk around the Lofu again to take more pictures, shopping and enjoying the delicacies. I'll bring it with me then. Aww, March is so kind. Let's go, time to shop and eat. Thank you. There are still many kind people in the world. I'll keep it short. He has his cane, a Heteros, Heteros, Heteros core, which is an extremely powerful artifact. 
It can replicate anything the user understands. Oh, so he understands how black holes work? So we eat a black hole? That is broken. Oh my gosh, Mr. Weld. Or <laughs> Mr. Yang. Also, he has a wife and a son. Oh, that's sweet. But so he's taken. <laughs> Aww. All right, let's go back to Skull Gorge. Oh, here, teleport. But yeah, that's really OP. So anything you understand, you can recreate. So if you understand the structure of food, you can recreate food. <laughs> I would abuse that so much. Now, if I can control gravity itself, I don't need to tell you how broken that is. Yeah, he is very broken. Yeah, this place has the best view of the Z and Zhao. Let me be your guide today, little ember. It's called the Star of Eden. Wow, so Welt was not joking around when he told Acreon that day that you better uh, explain to me how you're not a threat or else you're seeing a black hole. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, I think she wants to go outside. So let me go ahead and, and take her outside real quick. I'll be right back. There's times where you can compliment and flirt with March, but she'll stay. But why don't you praise me like that, even though you picked those options? Yeah, I was like, wait, I thought I did compliment you. Occasionally, dragons appear in the water here. Oh, thank you for subscribing to the channel, uh, Genji. Oh, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the streams. Occasionally, dragons appear in the water here. I was surprised when we first saw them. There's also dragons on the other side. Oh really? Why haven't I noticed it? What a gigantic water curtain. It feels like I'll be put out instantly if I accidentally fall into it. Ooh, the dragon. Can the flame of a heliobus be extinguished by water? Please don't ever think of such a thing. You can't risk it. Curiosity kills the heliobus. <sighs> Alright. Speaking of those parted waters, this was actually done by a member of the crew when he used his hidden power. Amazing, isn't it? Wow, he is so powerful. Who, who is he? He is a Vidiara. Vidiara. Um, um, as for the question of what a Vidiara is, sorry, I can't answer that. I'm not good at explaining things. I can show you what he looked like when he was little. Aww. Now, if Akrion and Walt fought, the Pinaconi would be lost for sure. Ooh. Yeah, that would have been a quick, <laughs> a quick uh, ticket to, to, to that. To the black hole that Aventrine found in the back rooms. Look, this is what Vidyara babies look like. But if they live for long, a long time, they will return into this form. Hence, they need to rest in the egg for a period before coming out again. I'm not sure whether to consider a Vidyara egg as young or old. For something so frail to be so strong, life is indeed a wonderful thing. If that's the case, how do you and the rest control the Vidyara and make him use his power for the express crew? Control? No, he's our friend. Friends are there to help each other and will not force each other to do things they are unwilling to do. Friends. I I don't understand, but I strangely know what you mean. Oh no, is this Heliobis slowly getting corrupted? Let's go to our next stop, Roots of Amber. Alright, ooh, over here. Um, what happened here is still fresh in my mind. Oh, a Heliobus! I've 
also seeing that she, March, can dish the flirting, but she cannot take it. She gets all flustered. Aww. Yeah, I agree, Josh. I, I, I remember that. <laughs> it's like, she flirts a lot, but then when we flirt flash, she's like, up. Oh. <laughs> An inferior shell on the verge of becoming a flesh coffin. This brain contains numerous emotions, but what a pity. There isn't any happiness left in it. There's only bitter hatred and the feeling of disappointment. <sighs> There's no value in tasting it. Ugh. Following the trails of human thought, I was hoping to taste some flavor to quell my hunger. What are you doing? Another escaped Heliobas. Hey, fellow Helo. Uh, oh, hey, little fellow. Are these two your pawns? How about giving one of them to me? What do you want? Please do not hurt my friends. Aww. Your friends. In Wilt's ulti, he cuts a black hole, right? He cuts the singularity an infinite point in space. My mind is blown. Yeah. Wilt is secretly scary. Secretly OP. That's why, like, he doesn't come with us often, because, like, in order for us to grow, if we had him, it wouldn't work. Oh, hello, um, pa Pradipta? I hope I said your name correctly, but welcome to the YouTube channels. Yeah, your friends? I hear you must treating humans as friends. Don't worry, I will swallow you first before accepting your gifts. Come on, make yourself useful, Flesh Coffin. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, wonder the body world doesn't come with us often, but that explains it a hundred percent. We'll just try and finish these quests real quick and then probably call it a day after these two. I think I need to give uh Kriya Kitty some attention. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Take it off. Do you find the answer? Girl, yes, but gosh, see when the Firefly incident happened. Yeah, exactly. Oh, if Will was with us and that happened to Firefly, I feel like that would have been the end of, of Pinakani <laughs> 2.1. That's it. The story's done. <laughs> what a tenacious will for battle, cold and resolute. It's all humans. I'm unlucky enough to possess a Marstruck body, and now I encounter vicious bandits like you. Oh, ghost. Do you recognize this item? <laughs> Alright, what I will do... Um... What I will do real quick is, I'm actually going to go and check on Kriya Kitty, and then I'll come back and finish these quests. I just need to go and make sure that she has, um... Everything that she needs, because I'm trying to get her to, to poop since she hasn't pooped for the last few days. Sorry, TMI. <laughs> now the monster's getting sucked into the black hole. Then there's nothing more. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'll be um, I'll be right back. Just give me like a uh, one or two minutes, and um, we'll continue. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the BRB screen. Okay, right, let's see here. All right, be right back. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. I uh, brought Kira Kitty back inside and I um, put her in a sun spot for her to nap in. Um, when I when I was locked in a dark space, I interacted with my kind. From their actions, I've seen the way and experiences they had when manipulating humans. They absorbed the emotions of the humans and were influenced by their humanity. They became cunning, greedy, and ferocious. They were attracted by human thoughts that became worse than the humans. I don't want to be like them. Little Akari, do you still remember you called us friends? Humans do not only have these negative emotions. Humans are, in fact, very complicated. Sometimes I feel depressed or frustrated too, and all I want to smash and destroy the things around me. But whenever I return to the express to chat with Himiko and Mr. Yang, tease Dan Hung and work at Cricket to watch the stars from the train windows with me, I feel very happy. No, I feel at peace, like a star in the sky. It stays where it belongs and exists as itself peacefully. I can't describe that kind of feeling with words. We humans somehow have the ability to think, to possess a lot of worries and pain. But at the same time, we can also enjoy moments of peace like this one. I guess it's a blessing for us from the universe, isn't it? I don't understand, but I can taste your feelings at this moment, March. <laughs> it, that's what it means to be friends. There's no need for any words, and you can understand me instantly with a look. It seems like we were fated to be friends. Come on, let's take a picture to commemorate our trip today. Aww. Very sweet. Uh, let's just take a picture. Here, your photography skills are improving. Uh, no wonder I have you acting as a personal photographer. It's getting late. Thank you, March. I should return to the cage now. Hilubai are very dangerous to humans, aren't they? I guess it's better for me to rest in the dark. Is that really what you think, Kari? What I really think? I want to go beyond the sky. I don't know how the future will be like, but I'm also keen to experience that peacefulness you mentioned. What do you think? I'm sorry, I need to follow the rules. I want to release it somewhere among the stars. Uh, I want to release it into the stars. I think it's a good heliobi. By the way, Mr. Yang was uh, once again away to unleash a black hole of Aventurine during the boss fight. <gasps> really? That would have been the end of for Aventurine, but Acreon kind of saved him. Oh, I have to go back and watch that cutscene. Like, did he flick his like cane and was about to use his, his attack? That would have been bad, yeah. And I think Acreon probably sensed that. That's why she left to attack Aventurine first. Yeah, it's like, I want to let it go on an adventure too. We're all companions trying to trailblaze our own past, right? But with regard to the Ten Lords Commission, you probably need to give them an explanation. And besides, this little guy didn't cause any harm. I'll return to the express for now. Let me know once you've made your decision. Alright, let's see. You literally see a small black hole from his cane. I vividly remember that. I, I think like he was holding his cane, right? And there was like a small black hole on top of it. And he was looking at the ventrain. I thought it was like, uh, just like a small move, like attack move. But no, it was the move. <laughs> Kriya, have you decided on what to do with them? I fully trust you. Your choice shall be my choice. Ooh, a big choice. We leave them to outer space. Release them to outer space. I feel like this is the right one too. Great, let's get to it then. I understand. As I hail from the void beyond, I shall return to it. I am very satisfied in this journey. Wait. Oh, okay, releasing to space, right? Thank you, March 7th. And you as well. Little buddy, it's time to leave. March 7th lists the constraints of the birdcage, but I carry doesn't leave immediately. I like to say our farewells as humans do. Farewell, March. Kriya. 
and forever cherish this peace. Amaze. So they pass through the cage's wall, through the train's window, and float into the spacious outer space. In that place, there is no deceits, no conflicts, at least in most of the space-time spectrum since its creation. Farewell. Your duration of life and sense of time are entirely different, and though you only met briefly, you understand that you will never meet again. Aww. Excuse me, Kriya, is everything going alright? The Hiliobus has left. Buzzy and Zhao, they won't be coming back. Oh, that works out too. I captured another Heliobus. And I'm gonna take it back to the suppression tower. I suspected of you. You're never you'd never come back empty-handed. I'll wait for you at the suppression tower. Thank you for your hard work. <laughs> Alright. Though our meeting was brief, I somehow feel a connection with Akiri. I hope that one day we'll meet again. I'll stay here for a bit. You go do what you need to do. Aw, I'm glad. I just saw Claire's VA is already trying to get E6 at the train. <laughs> Aww. I approve. Go for it, Claire. I feel like um, when I was watching all of them react to Camden trying to pull for a train, I think Clara was the most vocal about <laughs> about a train. My goodness. Please rewatch it. Oh, uh, I think he would have shot that thing at a ventry and killed him with that and produced another one to shield us. Ooh, yes. I'll have to rewatch that video, um, that cutscene. I do want to see it now that we know how deadly Welt is. Welt is not to be messed with. I wonder though, since he's on this adventure with us, if he misses his family. Bye, Korea. It's 2 uh, 50 a.m. here. Oh, yeah. Have a good night, um, Pradipa. Uh, Pradipa. Thank you for watching the stream. Yeah, that's Leo. Um, I hope you have a good rest or good sleep. But thank you for sticking around. I can spend all. I can spend you all their Twitch accounts if you want me to. Ooh, Josh. Yeah, that'd be cool. You can link it into, um, into the discord and I'll, I'll have to stop by and watch them later um I did find some of them through Camden's twitch yesterday which was really cool but it's really cool to make sure I get all of them <laughs> I think it's so cool that the VAs play um play Honkai on twitch all right let's put you in here evil hilo Expel evil and captures their spirits. Don't forget our routine. Miss Gui asked me to remind you to make the post, please. Uh, I know, time to get more fans. Alright, let's see. Breaking news. Behind the ghostly figure lurks the swarm. Uh, Mythopedia. Case closed mysterious quantum organism. New filter brings false alarm. Hmm. Let's do Lurks in the Swarm. Breaking news, I guess. Actually, there was once when I was taking a photo, the picture also showed a ghostly figure. I didn't dare to tell anyone, so I deleted it and it was paranoid for a long time. It was the ghostly figures on the phone. If the ghostly figures on the phone were all as cute and harmless as this one, it would be great, but... Thank you for your hard work. See you later. Nice. Alright. Account assistant! Yes! Uh, reconvene. Teleport. Alright, I think this is the last one, right? And then we'll be done with Ghostly Adventures. Oh, this is with, uh... Ooh. This is with, uh... I forgot her name. A colleague suddenly feels like a totally different person. 
uh, at a certain dis undisclosed commission, our division has always been swamped with work, and we never have a moment's rest. But for some reason, one of our colleagues, who was unusually the most, who was usually the most unproductive slacker, suddenly transformed into a different person, coming in early and leaving late every day. She's never, she's ever been persuading people around her to join her to start some grand business venture. I know this might not be impossible. But I've recently experienced some indescribable strange occurrences, so I'm highly cautious about these kinds of changes. Please, anyone who has seen this, contact me quickly. Ooh, alright. Uh. Is it okay if I send the cutscene from the Tiki Adventuring boss fight in the Discord channel? Oh yeah, sure! You can! I think everyone um, in the Discord has been caught up to um, to 2.1 this is a QQ <gasps> is this a sad one no I don't want to see I don't, I don't want to cry yeah no thank you for asking our for is it really strange for someone to have a strong burst of ambition after being lazy for so for a long time it's extremely strange Huh? It's common for outworlders like you, little Gwei, to want to work hard and upgrade your flat for a mansion or your star skip for a giant ship. After all, your, your, your youth is limited, and the pressure to survive is great. But for a long life society like ours, things are different. The majority of people only seek a secure life. But people think in all kinds of wonderful ways. Who can really say for sure? What do you think, Mr. Tail? The idea that anything that does not align with common logic must be the work of some unseen ghost is a very primitive way of thinking. However, if someone's personality undergoes a dramatic change without them doing anything, that could indeed be the work of a Heliobus. But it really doesn't help us at all. If I'm not I'm not the person at the center of the Angler mystery, how can I give an answer if I have not been to the scene personally? Even though that person po posted didn't say what department they were from, Judging by the name, there's no doubt that they're from the Divination Commission, right? Yeah. Is it really a Heliobus causing this? Yeah, why don't we go and take a look together to be on the safe side? Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll contact the person who made the post at the Divination Commission and wait for you there. Alright, Pillow Whisper. Thank you, I'll mark it as a spoiler just to be sure. Oh, thank you, R4. Yeah. Thank you for putting in the spoiler for, for just in case this too. I was really considerate. It is there. Ooh. Let me see real quick. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'll watch this animation later. Cutscene animation for that. <gasps> Ugh, gaming with the best. I like the title too because basically he was playing with the abyss and he almost got the abyss. Yeah, thank you for linking that. I'll definitely take a look at it to see how close the veteran was to, <laughs> to to danger. But he's always close to danger. Oh, it was Fushuan! Of course she would be the one that would notice first that she was acting strange. Ah, it's you! You really do work hard. I see posting on the Ghostly Grove page really gets things done, though. Um, seeing you now, I know exactly who your post is referring to. That's right, you understand. This may not seem so strange to the average person, but everyone in our department finds this whole thing extremely abnormal. Um, how should I explain? When you were all assisting me in driving out the lingering hill by, our diviner Ching Ching Kuei made a great contribution to the efforts. I wanted to thank her and give her more opportunities to show her skills in the department. But for some reason unknown, her attitude completely changed recently. She has been the first into the office and the last to leave. 
Today I even received notice from other diviners that she is planning to quit her role as diviner and is encouraging her colleague to start a new business with her. Yeah, he really likes to gamble and he got lucky that Archeon stepped in, otherwise he would have eaten that black hole like a champ. <sighs> yeah. Aventurine. Always playing the dangerous game, but he's always lucky, so... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so strange. Is it that strange to want to start a business and get rich? Do you not like Chingni now that she is a motivated worker? No, that's so strange. You see, I'm sure you understand. I think there is something extremely eerie about this whole thing. Thinking back to my own encounter, I wanted to ask you to take a look for yourselves. Diviner Fushua, um, is this Miss Ching, um, Ching Kui still here at the moment? She's currently over by the repository, talking loudly to her colleagues and fantasizing about her bright future. Let's go, I think you'll find this interesting too. My fish was such a small Sanandre. Yeah, exactly. She's there. There's no need to explain why you're here. Oh, okay, never mind. But yeah, she's very I like her a lot. Um when she comes up again, I might pull for her, but now that I have a tank, it depends on, on who she's up against for her banner, but I do want her. She's so cute. So cute. All right, let me see here. And I love her moves too. Like they're very cool moves. Um. Uh, ooh, what's this? I found my golden life. Ooh. Jingwei, I hear you're thinking of quitting. That's right. I found a whole new meaning to my life. You? I never thought I'd hear Jingwei talking about the meaning of life. It looks like the divination commission is in for a big change. You're not just letting yourself give up because the Master Diviner humili humiliated you again, are you? Looking back on my life, I see all I've done is waste time. However, looking to my future, I regret this greatly. I have seen the path of destiny opening up before me. Is this really the Qingui we know? You see, this is not normal. Looking back on past experiences, people will only measure a successful life in terms of having clothing, food, and minimal worries. Without deeper thought, can these blend experiences serve as feedback to empower others? I have worked the same day over and over in the Divination Commission for hundreds of years. Where is the logic in terms of success? Where is the principle? Pinnacle, where are the highlights of our lives compared to the short-lived species? Where are the benefits? There are none. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is not her. This is a waste of both time and life. Across the universe, there are people with shorter lifespans than yourselves in parallel dimensions that use and reuse methods for lasting gains. They work day in and day out, and work hard, far harder than you ever will. Yet you hide in your little delves and pretend that billions of credits in the hands of the super rich have nothing to do with you. Then you'd be shocked you find that the rich have already bought up everything around you. Don't you feel your blood boiling, a faint pain in the left side of your chest? Your desire is screaming out like thunder. Your sense of a normal atmosphere around you. You sense an abnormal atmosphere around you as a wave of manic emotion bursts forth from the bottom of your heart. Money! I want more money! I want a huge house and a star skiff. No, I want a star knot. I, I want to pay off my 300 year mortgage. Uh, I no longer feel these worldly desires. Give me Stellar Jade. <laughs> Give me stellar jade. Too small. You're all thinking too small. You think I am talking about money? No, it's much more than that. Just as Lois Fleming once said, I do not care about credits because I am credit. I am ta talking to you about the value of life and self-fulfillment. Only after these can you think about money. Then, where do you plan to start, Jingui? Where will I start? From this step right here. I shall leave this safe and stable job and begin my business plan. I will make Celestial Jade popular across the galaxy, then I shall branch out into other dimensions. Ooh, that's actually kind of smart, her game, Celestial Jade. Like, she's on her adventure and became popular in the Zin Zhao, like, super fast. Uh, now it would be a crime if they put Sam and Dan Hung in Bitter Lui 
on the same manner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that would be really, <laughs> really evil. Man, that's kind of deep. Oh yeah, it is. You are all welcome to follow along. All you need is to be like me and have a fighter's heart. Do you understand me? Clap if you understand. The crowd was overwhelmed with a wave of exhilaration. The people applauded. Right at this moment, Jingli's voice suddenly cut out and her face froze in a fixed smile. Ooh, that's creepy. Miss Jingwei? Uh, what's wrong with her? Hey, are you okay? You're scaring me. There's an abnormal greed burning in this girl's mind. It tastes spicy. She must have been affected by some Heliobus influence. Lady Fushuan. Everyone stand back. Jingwei needs rest. Please don't crowd her. No way, she still hasn't told her business plan. We were sent by the Alchemy Commission. With the assistance of Fushuan, you dispersed the crowd of onlookers and moved Jingwei to a secluded space. Jingwei, yeah. Something must be enhancing one of her latent insecurities. Like did Kirillium like did Kirillium when it possessed me? Yeah, Mr. Diviner, if you are ready, I shall ring the harmonic chime. Let's begin. Ooh, fight time. Yes, let's go with our, our pro team. Our master team. What is this place? An office of the Realm Keeping Commission? No, this is the illusion inside Miss Jingwei's mind. Oh, uh, one second. I hear, I hear kitty. One second, I'll be right back. I'm back. I think uh, after this, I will definitely have to end stream because I think she needs some attention. I need water. Because, uh, um, I don't know. She, she needs me to look after her. Hold it, may I ask if you are here for an interview or a business proposition? I'm here to see Ching Wei. Ching Wei, you mean press President Queen? <gasps> Jing, I mean. President? Uh, is this how she sees herself in her fantasy? Hello, we know Miss Jing Wei. We are her close friends. That's right, I am her boss. Tell her to depart from this delusion of fortune and come out to greet me. You know President Jing? Who on the law who doesn't? As for being her close friends, I am certain that a famous person like President Ching has many close friends that even she isn't aware of. And you there, yes you, the dwarf, you dare call yourself President Ching's boss? <gasps> How dare. How oh, that is a good one. What did you say? Why, you little feckless... I'm so mad right now. Surely you are aware that President Ching single-handedly founded the Lafu Dynasty Corp and spread the name of Celestial Jade all across the galaxy. She is the highest authority around here and has a million things to deal with. You think you can just ask to see her like that? Do you see this queue? The line of people that would like to meet President Ching has already stretched all the way here from Aram Alley. Go, take a number and wait. How long will this take? Maybe a week? Maybe a few months? Who knows? That guy at the front of the queue has been waiting for three months. So we'll have to do this with violence. Fight! Fight! I want to see rivers of blood! Oh my goodness. Alright, let's do this. Kitty's here. Spin freely. <laughs> Yay, kitty's here. Yes, baby. It's a 
Kill me. Okay. I'll be done soon. Uh, I'll give you some some love. Will you find the answer? Attention. Mm, let's see here. But yeah, I wonder if secretly inside, um, Shinkai really wants to be successful like this. Spin freely. I can't get over how um, every time a victory uses that move, kind of success. <laughs> but now we can like. <laughs> <laughs> Her ears are mine. Oh, you're so warm from like sitting in the sun and eating. Oh, chatters. I want all the chatters. Chitter chatter. Chatter chitter. Will they give us a lot of uh, stuff? Uh, yeah, you can't go. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Take it off. Will you find the answer? Maybe. Break. World cleansing track. Doing so. Okay, now she's sleeping here in front of us. Not so fast. I know this Miss Kriya. She was a friend with President King before Chain before her great success. Another Master Diviner? What's going on with the Master Diviner? Master Diviner, this is just a fantasy. I am no longer the Master Diviner. Please do not call me that again. I am no more than a mere employee under the flag of the Lofu Dynasty Corp. I use my limited vision to predict stock fluctuations for President Chingue. Oh my goodness. Master Diviner, do you see this? I, you don't need to wrap it in. That she. I can't believe she made me a mere underling in her corporation. It seems that she isn't even slightly grateful for my teachings. In fact, it seems they've left a shadow on her psyche. What has President and Ching done to you? What about your work in the Divination Commission? The Divination Commission is now the Celestial Jade Commission. Everyone is using Celestial Jade for divination, and it is much more effective than the Matrix of Precedence. I lost my job because of this. Thankfully, President Chingwei was malignant enough to forgive me for my ro past wrongs. It gave me an easy job so I could scrape a living. My gratitude to President Ching. Oh my goodness. Enough! Ugh, you pathetic limp! <laughs> uh, please don't take this to heart, Lady Fushua. This is an illusion, just a fantasy. There's no use tearing your throat apart screaming at a dummy. It, if it's a game of property trading for a game she's after, we will give it to her. You have a point, Mr. Tell. Um, Miss Fushuan of the Dynasty Corp, would she be able to take us to meet with President Ching Kui? Of course. President Ching has been talking about Korea for years. I bet you didn't realize I was so popular, did you? The concept of time and the solution is a mess. Come with me. President Ching wants to meet you and rekindle your old friendship. This is QQ and Fushan switching places. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm the boss in my dreams. Oh my gosh, they're all using Celestial Jade. <laughs> That's so funny. Here you are. This is the Palace of Astrid, isn't it? Ah, uh, you misunderstand. This is the Jade Tao Parlor now. With her great foresight, President Ching brought the Palace of Astrium out long ago. Guess President Ching is just over there inspiring her employees. I shall take my leave. I feel like if this really happened, Fushua would be like, No, F this. I am not going to be an employee for, <laughs> for Jingai. I ask that when you propose creative ideas, that you find your past for 
but you find paths for tile games like Celestial J to diversify, create a new industry ecology, and access the pressure points of consumers directly to ignite user demand. Remember, our slogan is, Celestial J creates happiness. Our operation department plans to implant more micropayments for Celestial Jade. We plan to create customizable paid content for tile backs, game tables, tables, and players. Strictly speaking, tiles, hands, and players are all separate entities, charging separately for, separately for them and breaking down user payments for further exploit payment potential is only logical. Our competitors like us like to use our lack of game modes as criticism. Tell me, what new game modes have you all come up with? President Ching, look, we fully understand that our players do not enjoy turn-based combat, so we have designed a real-time J-Tile battle mode named League of Jake Tiles. Oh my gosh, <laughs> League of Legends. President King, this is Tiles and Dungeons. It is an RPG in which players can play as different classes with various different abilities. Tiles and Dungeons. <laughs> Good, very good. All these ideas are perfect. With these improvements, even the BioVirus will be obsessed with JTALs in no time. It seems that my guests are growing impatient. You get on with research and development. I have private affairs to attend to. Even after all these years, you have changed a bit, Kriya. What a pleasure. I imagine you've heard of my success and have decided to join us in promoting the great cause that is Celestial Jade across the galaxy. I'm actually here to bring you back to reality. <laughs> Miss Chingwei, you have been possessed by Helico Bus and fallen into an, an abnormal illusion. We're here to help you escape. An illusion? You're saying that my self-made career is just a dream? How could that be? How could these years of struggle and hard work and the joy of my successes all be fake? Back to the point, if I hadn't met you all those years ago, I would have never gathered the courage to quit my job and start my business. What was it you said to me back then? The gears of fate are beginning to turn. To repay you, I have decided to give you an opportunity to completely transform your life. Come with me. As for the others... Melanie, find something for them to do. I don't know where she is talking to you. I don't know where she is taking you, but you must remain cautious, Kriya. If you need us, just call out for help. I'm scared that my nerf... Well, that they nerf Walt in the story since he is exceptionally strong. Or outright kill him. Oh no, they better not touch him. Breaking the fourth wall much? <laughs> oh. My Lofo Dynasty Corp is dedicated to providing the most satisfying service to game players across the entire universe. Unfortunately, the rules of Celestial Jade are outdated. If we want different cultures across the entire universe to go crazy for it, we have to give it a new lens lease on life. You just saw how you just saw lots of different game modes for J tiles. They all have a lot of potential, but I I am convinced that none other none of them have the wide appeal of this mode before you. What is it? J tile promotional chest? No, I plan to introduce mystery boxes into Celestial Jade. Ooh, treasure. Players will open random chests and have a chance to receive jade tiles missing from their decks. One draw can mean the difference between victory and defeat. <laughs> so basically, Honkai, uh, gotcha. Which chest is open? When each chest is open, there is a chance to receive a golden legend. Give it a try. I know you will be hooked in no time. Oh <laughs> no, gotcha, and a gotcha. Uh, make one work. Trash. <laughs> Make one more. More trash. Oh my gosh, this is this is <laughs> this is was us earlier today. Oh my gosh, all the pools. And it's not gonna be until the last one that we get the <laughs> please this time. Oh no. Oh no! All the pools failed. Well, no way, it's all useless rubbish. Is there no 10 times draw guarantee? There must have been something wrong with the drop rate. I'll boost the drop rate of Golden Legends right now. Here, give it a try. At least we're not paying for it. 
<laughs> Every time Warp Scarings T a rare or better celestial detail. Uh ten warps. There it is, the golden legend. There are a better character. <laughs> what do you think? Do you love how it feels? Golden trash. This is not celestial jade. Trying cards will make the game itself more fun. Um This is not celestial jade. This is Celestial Jade. As the person that rediscovered and promoted this game, I am far more qualified than you to decide the form of Celestial Jade takes. If you don't enjoy this, I will have you stay here and open chest until you can fully appreciate the fun. Oh no, the Hulibus is trying to use this way as a way to trap me. As you consider how to escape, there is a hurried knock on the door as someone charges in. <laughs> it's, it's heaven for the trailblazer. Loot boxes. President Ching, and we're in trouble. What is it? I have terrible news. The Interstellar Peace Entertainment has inter <laughs> entertainment has created a knockoff of Celestial Jade. Oh no! What? File a lawsuit now. I'm suing them for copyright infringement. Um, there's actually worse news to come. The IPC has already gotten ahead of us to announce the new product. Ugh, curse them. We just need a new, a few technical adjustments. Kriya, should I take a gamble on this new game mode? It's a big gamble, my friend. You can afford the risk, my friend. Why not save yourself the risk? I told you what I think, my friend. You can afford the risk, my friend. You're right. I have to bet everything I have. She want to launch an emergency asset. I've already been bottom fished by the IPC. They bought out all the Dynasty Corp stocks. Oh no. It's a total wipeout, my friend. Why why has it come to this? Chingui's voice gradually grows more high pitched and shrill, echoing across the corner of the room. You useless fool, you're fired. Hm, President Heliobus really has a ferocious temper. Even an aloof young girl like Chingui has been trapped in the vortex of fame and fortune. Although, when it comes down to it, there's nothing more than fantasies used to deceive the host. One push and they come crumbling down. You are the real diviner. <laughs> nice, I almost fell for your bluff. I am nothing like that imposter. I thought such a thing would be clear to you at a single glance. What do you think? I put a little plan together and easily crushed their dreams. The dream I have given Ching Kui will not be so easily crushed. Listen to me, I have a way to make everyone rich. You will sign a contract with me as a representative of the Astral Express, and then we can spread Celestial J to even more remote worlds. With the Express, we can stop. We can get to untapped markets before the IPC does. What do you think? It's not practical or realistic. Live, leave Ching Kui's body now. Leave her body now. Exactly. That's right. Digging into the mind of my subordinate and planning, planting unrealistic and foolish fantasies like this is unforgivable. It's time for you to finish your mission, Judge. Uh, separate Ching Kui from this thing. Yeah, a time for us. Fools, I could have made you richer than the IPC. Nah. I don't think so. Not with people like Aventurine and Topaz in there. It's on me. Uh, yeah, Starla loves making fun of themselves. <laughs> so basically, she's inserting loot boxes, yeah. No, it feels like even. Spend freely. What even is the fourth wall? I pulled Jing Lee now. It's. By the way, it's Theo. Oh, hi, Theo! And congratulations to pulling Jing Lee. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. We uh, got a match and we were trying to pull Jing Lee over after, but it didn't work out. And that's okay. I'm gonna try and farm for more jades and see if we can pull her um, again. But if not, it will go towards the next banner. Congratulations! So lucky! Find the answer. Find the answer. Sorry, I'm like uh, pinching my cat's ears because they're so fluffy. Watch your head! Nice. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Yeah, we're finishing the last bit of what was companion quest, or like the after bit, um, and then we'll be done with what was quest. And then tomorrow we'll hopefully do 
um, Kafka's quest to finish that up. The Dragon Team. Dead Big Tank. Dead Big Tank. You know, right? Gosh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, this will definitely be the last thing we'll do for today. And it's. Ooh, we have been streaming for almost four hours. Nice. Master Diviner, Kriya, and Miss Wilba, what are you doing here? Miss Jingwei, you suddenly lost consciousness. Are you okay, Jingwei? Have you been feeling out of sorts at all? Headache, nausea, strange dreams? Actually, yes. I fell asleep and had a really, really long dream. I dreamt I got super rich. <laughs> as long as you're okay. Alright, don't let me catch you slacking off during work again. Go and tidy up the re repository. Uh, understood. This won't happen again. Fushuan patted Shinkui on the head, turned and left. Aww. She didn't like reprimand her or anything because she understood. She secretly really cares. <sighs> the message diviner is gone. I must have been possessed by Heliobus. Right, Kriya? Judge? Miss Chingwe, you remember everything? Of course, you're all here after all. That and the fact that I dreamt about quitting my job and becoming a hugely successful entrepreneur. This is all too crazy. I, I imagine I must have attracted one of those spirits that makes people think wild things. Looks like the Master Diviner isn't going to press you on this. So you're, aren't you really planning on starting your own business? No, it looks like Fushuan won't press you on this. It does. I never had her down as the kind of person that could leave things unsaid. This must be her way of repaying you for all of your help before. Master Diviner really is old school when it comes to repaying favors. Kriya, let's get this Helios back to the Matrix. Thank you both so much. Please allow me to treat you to a meal at Arm Valley sometime. Ooh, a meal. Why not seize the moment? Okay, next time for sure. I'll be off now, Miss Jingwei. Nice. Alright, let's go back. No, nah, but he really says no uh during his basic attack. <sighs> he says no uh, but it sounds so sus. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize she basically wasn't even cure conscious when all this took place. Yeah. She was under the Teliobus influence. I feel like for Shinkwe, she's not the type of person to be ambitious about about that. She just wants to go to bed. I think Fushua does like QQ, but she has her own way of showing it. Yeah, exactly. Very Sidandre. Very in character. <laughs> I never thought that there would still be Hiliobai in the Divination Commission. It seems this one excelled in enhancing people's desires and seducing them to work for hard for riches. So it would infect people with your human desires. Well, at least this has been dealt with smoothly by you two. Thanks so much, Kriya, Master Diviner. Don't forget, we have to minimize the impact of this incident. It would be best to put a new post on the ghostly grove. Alright, let's see. Breaking news. Beware of predatory contracts. Uh, overwork leads to mental distress. Overwork leads to mental distress. Let's go with breaking news. Hillabai really are curious creatures. They come in so many forms. I wonder if that get-rich-quick scheme would have actually worked. If those Hilibai are worth trusting, then I'm the Flint Emperor. Well, uh, we'll be heading back now. Okay, yeah, see you soon. Yay, we're done! We're all done! No more guests. No more Hilibai. Oh, wait. Are we done? I think we're done, right? It didn't go all the way. Let's see. Uh. 
Is there another? Ask me anything, everything about Gwenefen. Oh, hey. Yeah, I think that's everything. But why are we not... Hmm. Or maybe it's for... Let's look at this guy. Why... Here's why Clockboard is such a ghost town. There's a post that's on my mind. Can you help me parse it out? Nothing worry, worth worrying so much about. Let me take a look. Babe, you're alone in such a terif- Why are you alone in such a terrifying place? You should bring a giga chat like me who can bench- <laughs> Bench stars gifts. That's much safer, little Guinevere. Oh. Based on the Skyframe Commission standard specs, this gen star crowd, I reckon you can lift squat. Um, let me see you. Alright. All your troubles will go away if you pay some basic respects at the temple. Um, okay. Hey fam, even though my intuitions tell me this is fake, I'm still a little worried about it. Wanna go check it out? Yeah, let's go. I wanna know too. Let's go. Thanks, load. Okay, so I guess we have a little bit. I don't think it, this one's a long one, so let's just finish it. My goodness, that triggered me a bit. <laughs> yeah, me too. Alright, how do we get here? Here, right? Yeah, this is the fastest way. And then we'll be- we'll be truly done. Oh, down here. Bam. This is the right place, based on the location mentioned in the post. Looks pretty normal around here. Where's this creaky old empty warehouse then? There's not a soul around. The address is correct and it's packed full of similar warehouses as mentioned in the post, so we've got the right place. But there's always... But there are always problems with what's true and what's fake online. Maybe they're trying to scam us. Maybe a gust blew open the warehouse door making it creak as though haunted. And they don't want to actually want to scam us, who knows? In any case, it's well worth considering that this could even be a waste of a trip. We shouldn't lose heart, because it's still early. But there's still time to go back and take a rest. Um, little Gwei, there's reasonable enough, that's reasonable enough, but I've only just noticed there's a girl just over there who keeps looking this way. Oh, oh my gosh, that's creepy. That girl, I've noticed her too. But it doesn't feel like a hilly bus inside. She just should be a normal person. Just go and ask. You'll soon find out. The cloud floor is usually pretty quiet on weekdays and we're out here ransacking the place. It's natural to attract a little attention. Wait, I just saw you have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, we do. Um, right now, I just do dual streaming on both. So it's kind of like a VOD channel. It's just the bot channel for now. But yeah, feel free to explore um, any past bots um, in case you want to catch up on, on any reactions to things. <laughs> Especially starry eyes. Huh? Um, what do you want? Were, were you just staring at us? One of you girls looks like someone I know. You. You there. Are you that famous vlogger who went viral recently? Little Gwei, right? I am indeed. The name's Gwenefin, and if you're queen, keen, then don't forget to visit our page, like, and subscribe. <laughs> like, I subscribe. It's coincidence she's saying this now. Little Gwei, that's not what she meant. Um, sorry, uh, call me a workaholic or something. We're just strolling around here. How about you? Oh, I, I just, I was just hanging out here. I've got a notification about a cure, Cora delivery and pickup shoot near, is nearby. Is that right? In that case, we won't bother you any further. There's nobody else around us, around besides us. Please take care of with your personal safety when you're out on your own. Everything seemed normal enough, so the squad decided to stay and watch a while longer. <laughs> Face advertisement. There's another new post, and the username and the style. This post seems really similar to the previous warehouse one. Come have a look. I missed it last time. Do I still have to look? 
Uh, let's see. Little can look way to an undercover interview here. It's hard to set up though. Can the Star Scare Commission check this place out and see if it's really something spooky? I live in Arm Alley and head to the Delsky Pavilion for food every single day. I did hear this incident. Someone came to look for the pawn shop, but didn't find anything. Hmm. Okay. My internal radar is tingling and giving me a special feeling. Well, we trust your instincts. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Arm Ali. Oh, hello everyone. What's new? I'm new here. Hi, Joker. Welcome to the streams. Um, to the YouTube channels. We just finished Wawa's uh, companion quest, and we're kind of finishing up the last few bits. Um, and we're just doing trying to get everyone's companion quest out of the way before 2.2 comes. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying the streams. This is different from that post. Uh, Sushang and Wawa are still on the way. Um, I don't think I've seen any billboards around. That's normal. In all my time of hanging out around the Arm Alley, I've never seen any pawn shops here. No wonder why I've been walking around all day, but I still haven't found anything weird. That so-called scandal from the post has got to be made up. They must be poor. You know what? We should write novels. It's just tilting at windmills, nothing more. We missed that last time at Cloudford, and this time we were hustled again at Arm Alley. I find this all really weird. The user who posted it up last time was Gwen Gwen Spicy Sour Juice. Huh. And this post is by Sweet Boba for Sweet Gwei. I guess they like juice. Do you think it's the same person? Oh, hi, R4. I see you in the chat. <laughs> there's no. Oh, uh, no, there's two of me. Oh, no, no, there's two of me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the YouTubes. <laughs> I guess they like to see think the same person. I suspect they're the same person. <gasps> Someone's recording us. We've confirmed now that both posts are totally fake news. That means this person is deliberately spreading disinformation. Is this as for their goal? Hmm, I don't know who they are. So the motives for doing this are all going to be strange. But I'm thinking the kind of person who would do this has to be one of my haters. You listen carefully to Gwenefin's analysis when you feel slight sight lines locking onto you from not too far away. Instantly you realize something is wrong. Little Gwei, someone's watching us. Huh? That's sus. Don't show our hand. Lead the way. Let's rush over and ask what's going on. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's her. It's the same person. Hang on, you seem really familiar. Have we met? The girl was in the club for was in the club for last time. It's her. Once I can get some water. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrate. <laughs> when you said that name, I had the same reaction you did. Ooh. Yeah, I was like. That's a... <laughs> That's a unique username. Uh, why are you stalking us? Go on, tell us. Otherwise, I'll have to report you to the Realm Keeping Commission. Wait, wait, please don't be mad. I'm Manman. I'm sorry for scaring you just now. I didn't mean to hurt or to do anything bad to you. I just... Wait, wait. I knew it. You were the one who made those posts. What are you doing making up stuff like that? I... Actually, I... I'm one of your fans. I saw you were soliciting contributions and thought you were making real life trips around, so I wondered if I might get a chance to try and meet you. Oh no. And so I tried, but I have to say, you're so cute in person just when you're angry. Your face is much smaller than on the screen. Just too cute. I just wanted to see you with my own eyes, and I really didn't mean anything else by it. During the 100,000 fans event, I even submitted a question about whether you'd be doing any fan meet and greets, but sadly my question never got picked. I have no words. This is the first time I've ever met a fan like this. Back in my hometown, even little kids know there's a proper set of rules to follow when conducting oneself. Hang on. 
Based on the Zian Zhao standards, are you a minor? Oh yeah, I'm still in school, but in terms of age, I'm far older than you are. Minors shouldn't be following streamers. Looks like I'll have to pay your teacher a visit. Mm-hmm, good idea, Kriya. Um, minors watching my stream is what scares me the most. Every few days, I'll get their parents requesting a refund and I'll get stung with a processing fee, meaning all my hard work streaming amounts to nothing. My family, they never cared about me spending money. They won't ask for any refund. You can count on that. Uh, you think it's about a refund? Do you know how much effort we put into proving whether these supernatural stories of yours were true or not? Oh, we were so busy that we couldn't even accept any ads. Hey, our squad trip was all messed up by you. I didn't expect you to put out like this. I, I just wanted to see you. That's all. I shouldn't have tricked you. All I can do is use this money of mine to make up for all your wasted efforts. I'm really sorry. I told you, this isn't about the money. Also, as a minor, where does that income of yours even come from? You don't really take me as such a ditzy idiot, do you? Please. There's just a per this is just a persona I put on for the stream. The little Gwei is nowhere near that kind-hearted in real life. Alright, if there's anything else, you can get out of here. And you better, otherwise I'll have to call someone. At your age, you should just be studying hard instead of messing around. Oh, gonna fan or little Gwei. Mama wipes her face before vanishing like a puff of smoke. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Like, you shouldn't be doing that, but I guess she has to be really harsh, or else that might happen again. Is it really wise to be so tough on your fans? If I just place it her, I'm afraid she won't understand that little Gwei is actually just a job for me. She'll think that I'm actually this amazing ghost hunter and donate all of her parents' hard-earned money to me without a care. Thank you, Kriya. We're lucky to have you helping out the whole way, otherwise. Today's incident is a warning, anyway. It reminds me to knock up my fans a peg, otherwise I'm going to have to keep a distance from my fans in the future. Aww. Ghost hunting squad. Some words for fans old and new. Oh gosh, she's really, really putting out the, the hammer. This is a rare time you see Gwenefan's aggressive side. Yeah, really. She was really aggressive, but I, for, you know, she has to be, I guess. All right, time to finish the story. Aww. What's this, huh? Is this a gift from a fan? Let's rip it open and see what's inside. Oh, it's from her. Kriya, do you remember that girl who tricked us into coming out last time? That fan of mine who was still a minor? Yeah, I remember. The one who made up the stories and tricked you. What about her? Yep. Uh, I put out this special announcement before to act as a warning. Both overt and covert to her. And what happens? Today I got a package delivery from a Psycrane. She wasn't mad at all. She even got me a small gift. Aww. Yeah, she was a real fan. She understood. I never expected things to wrap up so nice and neat. There's nothing valuable inside, just some snacks in this letter. In it, she said that I seemed to really care about my work when we met last time, and that I was pretty intense. She thought that when I was like this, it didn't ruin my reputation, but actually made me seem even cooler. That I look more professional. I really don't understand her. Anyway, she mulled over some snacks. Grab some, why don't ya? I've been thinking. I really should send her something back. I'm gonna do that. See you later. Aww, sweet. Miss Little Gwe 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 Guinevere, could you please sign this? Thank you. There you go. Thank you for using Heron Express services. Heron Express, we ship wherever you want. Looks like this is mine. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yay, and we're all done. Boop, boop. 
Phase target reached. A gift from a fan. Aww. That's sweet. I'll never use that up or eat it. Lola. Kriyavi is successful to do the hilly of us for now. However, this place is still not safe. Please be cautious. Have the Tenth Lords not finished taking care of the Heliobi yet? Fear not. Um... The number of Heliobi that escaped the creation furnace was immense. It will take a very long time to capture them all. Since the furnace broke, all of the Ignamar spirits that could pose a threat have been recovered. The most dangerous spirit among them. Hey, wait. I think... Hey, wait a think before you speak. Who is the most dangerous spirit? The most dangerous spirit is Tail. And the second most dangerous is Cyrus. Both have already been subdued by the Ten Lords Commission. Uh, you call this being subdued? This is called making use of astounding talent. I saved in the Ten Lords Commission as a kindness to you. Either way, according to the assistant by the Ten Lords Commission, the remaining Helibi that have not been subdued are not powerful enough to pose a real threat. This, this is all thanks to you and the ghost hunting squad. Oh yeah, did you come to Victor Garden to see me? Uh... Yeah, I want to chat with you. Alright, I'll chat with you later. <laughs> I still got the thing to take care of. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. And we're done. Finally, we're done. Oh, level up. Oh, these were all prizes for... Oh, nice. More jade. More things. Nice. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> that was... My, my voice is gone. <laughs> but that would be all for today, I think. And then we'll do more tomorrow. I'm going to try and pull a venture in once I get more. I have one... I have 110 pool. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, 110 pool. Okay, I see. I understand why my mom likes Gwenefin, but doing that and basically socking her is not cool, yeah. Fantastic stream, thank you, Lila. <laughs> I got this gambler. Oh, nice! Oh my gosh. Congratulations, R4, you got a machine. <laughs> I understand that, that feeling. <sighs> okay. Well, that's it for today. But yeah, no, congratulations, really. I'm really glad that everyone I've watched so far streaming their pools and everyone that we've talked to in chat have gotten like all their pools really early. This is so nice. So nice of Honkai to be like really kind to our wallets. I'll catch you tomorrow. Nice stream. Thank you. Yes, we'll stream again tomorrow um, same time. But yeah, thank you guys for staying and watching for today. <laughs> And thank you for being with me for the pools. You guys' luck gave me streamer luck. But um, hopefully we'll be able to save up enough, if not for more pools for this banner, for the next banner. I'm just really sad that it didn't go through. But it's okay, we got adventuring. Streamer luck is based. <laughs> I agree. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you. Oh, thank you, Lila. It's a pleasure for me to have you guys all here too. Like really, like thank you for always being here and keeping the space like warm and comfy. <laughs> well, all right, I'll go ahead and end the streams, but oh my goodness, we almost, or no, we did almost make it to the four hour mark. Holy. <laughs> all right, well, um, have a good rest of your evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you guys are. And once again, thank you guys for always being here. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more stuff. We'll see what we'll do tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, have a good night. Bye!